live from twitch.tv as per contractual demand it is still yet one more episode of the dragon friends <laughs> we are back and we will be back and we will be back again and then we will stop unless greg tito lets us come back uh-huh that is cool. the way a contract works mm-hmm. um the <laughs> <laughs> That's what you've tuned in for, some contract law. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, when last we met the Dragon Friends a week ago, you were, if you've watched, oh, by the way, if you watched this last week and it kind of froze out halfway through, mm-hmm. we have uploaded new VODs on YouTube and Twitch. So pause this, watch that instead, or watch both at once. Like, yeah, we're, oh. we've done a trick that if you start it mm. now, if you press play, yeah, that and moment. then also the Wizard of Oz. It will be very frustrating yeah. for <laughs> anybody else in the room. Twice in the entire show. Yeah. yeah. There's a yeah. moment at 15, 17 where it eerily all lines yeah. up. So watch out for that. Um, we all, yeah. Um, so what's happened since then? So I invented a catchphrase last week and then forgot what the catchphrase was. Does anybody remember was what? It it fucked Ender? No, it was no, like. It was, oh, it was like a unicycle. Were we, we talking about, were we talking about soup? What was the weird placenta soup thing? Oh, nope. we want to leave broth. Um, oh, no, yeah, your um, oh, after, after broth. That after was mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was I, I, I cared <laughs> not Gaga for Dender. after broth. Gaga for Dender. Gaga for Dender. That was a good one. Yeah. Gaga for Dender. It was a really like if Somebody you like or something like. Oh, yeah. It could have been. It could have been that. <laughs> Did you memorable. invent that? I know it was. <laughs> you really that it was really. It was really low key. It was <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't sound very memorable. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I've got 400 T-shirts coming with me. That'll do your memory. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyone else got any news to report? Anything happened the last week? Um, I am I am drastically... Um, shrinking? Uh, re- re- shrinking as we speak. It's huh. like... I. You got a Benjamin Button thing going on? Well, m- the, my chair is bigger every morning when I have <laughs> breakfast and my cane is bigger. Every time that I use it, are you, th- are you Matilda's so dad? Well, no, no twits. I'm the oh, twits. The twits. I am the twits. This is a game where I uh, describe Roald Dahl <laughs> things as they happen to me, and the cast have to guess what I'm describing. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm, I'm touching the back of a card, and I can, I can tell what Henry the card Sugar. is. No, yes, Henry yes, Henry Sugar. Mm. Um, I'm, Sugar. I'm drugging yeah. birds and taking them home to eat. This boy. Boy. No. No. Danny Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I forget because he's a boy. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fighter pilot in World War II in That's Africa. Over. Yes. I'm a oh. fat little girl who <laughs> <laughs> ate too many sweets. Veruca Salt. Nice, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. What's that one called? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. No. no. Right. The That's blue not one. central Violet. to Violet Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, that's the most relatable bit for Alex. I'd have a spin off about. Veruca Salt. If oh. you are enjoying us remembering <laughs> our favourite Roald Dahl books, Dahl tweet Dahl. us your favourite. Or if you are furious at the lack of Dungeons & Dragons so far, mm-hmm. um, I keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> our Twitch stream our rules. <laughs> <laughs> no, so when last uh, we met... Easy o trot <laughs> 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 When last we saw the dragon friends, uh, victory was at hand. The fane of the Night Serpent had fallen as your child army, let's not mince words, oh, yeah. um, were willing <laughs> to throw down oh, their lives as many had yeah. to to take the citadel from the yuan that had taken it. The royal palace is reclaimed, but at what cost? Kids. With, yes, pretty much. Um, <laughs> was, did Ju- Justin die, didn't he? Justin yep. is dead at your hand. Clyde is dead at, let's say, Istar's hand. Mm-hmm. A few of the children um, remain, and they have decided that they have foreseen the errors of their ways and are keen to return once more to Paylor's light and to return to the camp that perhaps you burnt down. In fact, you did burn down, didn't you? Radical. All right, so Mm. there's a good chance they're dying in the jungle too. So I don't want to say that there's more blood on your hands, but Mm. that's probably what we're looking at. The Dragon Friends, however... Oh, if we start counting collateral damage of the Dragon (laughs) Friends, we're going to be here all week. All right. Uh, The Dragon Friends, however, you um, have decided um, that it's probably time to leave. Unless you want to sort of stay and see if the UNT bring reinforcements, do this again. There is a Hydra somewhere on the grounds. It's really up to you. Now, Frizo, I believe <laughs> you were interested in taking over the slave trade, uh, but we've kind of killed all the slaves. So mm. is that a business venture that you're still interested in? Did you in kill all the slaves? In? Uh, well, a lot of them oh. died, but I, I, guess, I guess I'm really going through a... Uh, Bitcoin moment here uh-huh. <laughs> where I've invested heavily in uh, human trafficking and uh-huh. that, that, that seems to have gone bust. Uh, uh-huh. The comments are going wild. <laughs> um, what happened to like the dude with the mask the snake boy. Right, I was gonna say, well, to be honest, he buggered off, didn't no, he? No, but he, so he has. He's just gone into the internal chamber. Yeah, he has where we oh. assume that Mean Ladyface is is in wait. Yeah. Yeah. I would Fentaza. say, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, probably what has happened, um, the the fight is still raging deep inside the fane, but you guys have probably made your way just to the outside. Um, yeah, so get out of here. 
How are we going to... Because we want to rescue the kids who are in carbonite, though, right? <laughs> yes. Are we going to be able to... Do we? Do carbonite we get, kids. Do we get the thing to rescue the carbonite kids? That was never here. Oh! oh. Why are we here? <laughs> Bye! Um, <laughs> here we got arrested. Yeah, you were... Uh, we, were yeah. we were slaves. Oh, okay. Are what about the puzzle cube? slave, are you arrested? I suppose so. Yes. Can we go? Can we just nip down and free the slaves who are in the dungeons? Because they're going to get. I think we already about. did that. Also, can we get the puzzle cubes? Uh, you absolutely have not done that. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Cannon. So, um, so if you was that in the stock, the stock no, room, yeah, all you that have stuff. Yeah, you've you've got your stuff. Um, get the puzzle cubes, sir. Uh, that's yeah. I think you have you have the puzzle cubes. So you just left them with our the stuff. They have lazy. Well, don't forget that they hadn't inventoried your stuff, so all your magic right. items were okay. there as well. Mm. Um, you also took Rasna C's uh, morning star. It's all coming back. Sure to me now. did. Mm. Got a flaming morning star. I got so many weapons. They're very heavy, actually. Just, <laughs> just so you know, that is plus two d six fire damage when you use it. Oh, thanks. Um, Whoa. and the yeah. So I suppose if you want to actually, I've said that you escaped, but if you'd prefer, you guys can make your race down to the grotto during the fight and try and get the. The slaves out. I'd like to do that if you guys don't mind. Yeah, look, too busy. Uh, look, look, we can allocate some time to free some slaves. <laughs> this is how all great revolutions start. <laughs> I'd like to do that if you guys don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so leaving the Battle of the Fane, you guys race down um, the corridor into which you knew the entrance was locked um, in leading in from the supply room that you've already found. Um, that door is still locked, unfortunately. Open sesame, I cry. Why don't you use your lockpicks that you have? <laughs> That's what I say when I open my lockpick. Right, <laughs> <great. laughs> Make a thieves tool check. That's how to open the... Uh, what? what? That worked in a way. 14. 14. 14. All right, yeah. that's enough. So you, the, you're able to click the door open, and inside you see um, a bunch of malnourished faces, about 40 to 60. Are they all chained up, or are they free but in the... No, like in the slave grotto, uh, most of them are free. Some of them are sort of chained in neck collars in work shifts. All right, and are they are they clothed, or are they they're, naked? They're dressed in rags. Why is this... In yeah, is this yeah, why is that important? I just, well, no, I'm, just, I'm painting a picture with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> for you, later. You don't think it's... Yeah, for later. <laughs> I, just, I just don't want to release, you know... 300 nude men and women into the street. Why? <laughs> Once again, 40 to 60, but... Um, <laughs> okay, so one of them comes forward um, and looks at you incredulously. Hello. <laughs> You're free now, me, Filch. Uh, Filch the Emancipator. <laughs> you welcome. And I hold out my hand. <laughs> okay, you may go next. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make all of them? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Filch. Don't forget my name. Do next. Think, do you change your nickname every time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me, Filch, the freedom giver. Uh -huh. um, just a real quick thing. Mm. Um, do you have any wipes? Because I feel like this is very <laughs> unhygienic. <laughs> Less thisy, more kissy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess uh, 10 to 15 minutes pass. Um, and then uh, the last two, um, as the room sort of empties, you and can... The back of that hand is just a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it's just a mess. Um, as the last one leaves, you, you see kisses. one last uh, human is waiting there, and it is the child Cody, the slave master's favourite, the one that translated for him. Oh! oh you didn't die? <laughs> Hey! Oh, he's yeah. He's severely. He looks like he's been severely bitten uh, in the past, and he's got a bit. His one arm is in a sling, um, but he still looks surprisingly imperious. Hey, Dr Cody, you little shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I see you've returned to lock yourself up. Well, <laughs> pip pip, and then he holds out some shackles. He's shackled. No, no, no he's, it's he's, for he's, you oh, to put yourself in. Ah, uh -huh, Cody. <laughs> Today you have learnt the full extent of the mercy of Filge the Merciful. I don't think I've learned anything. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, if you really want to learn something, you can come on an adventure with us. Uh, Strap him to your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Strap him to your chest. <laughs> I don't think I have a lot to say. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> what are what's you going to do? What what's he got on him? Uh, yeah. He's just dressed in a Chilton sash that's sort of decorated with uh, images of snakes. I always thought he was in a little sailor suit. <laughs> <laughs> has he, has he got he's a in lolly a, as well? He's, he's in an embroidered lolly? Chilton sailor suit yeah. decorated with snakes. Mm -hmm. And you've lived around here for long? Where are you from? No, I'm from... And he is like he's trying to remember. <laughs> it's like he's trying to... Port Nyanzari. I'm from Port Nyanzari, but my parents moved around a lot. That's why I sound like I have an international accent. <laughs> can, I have the, can I have the shackles? Can I have the shackles? Yeah, do you want to keep him or not? I, I, uh, yeah. Is, yeah. Does he have a yeah. thin neck? He's got quite a thin <laughs> neck. I, I put one of the shackles around his neck. Oh. Oh, that, will that will chafe and then start to bleed. <laughs> Let's not do that. It's Cody. not that oh. thin a neck. <laughs> Well, no, because if, if they're shackles, I think thin. I think if the shackles could have gone on Filger's arms, they could go on his. But neck. They, it, we, they absolutely can, and at first it will chafe, and then it will start to bleed. 
All right, I don't want to make a child bleed from the neck. For, na- okay. <laughs> for the now. <laughs> Twice in one day. I'm going to give Cody the iron key that I had. Uh, th- that opens the storeroom. Yeah. And I'm like, Cody, you're the new slave master. <laughs> Here you go. Why would you give this little tyrant power? <laughs> because it's, it'll, it'll please him. Yes. Here you go. No, I think that suits just fine. <laughs> okay, off you go, you little... Scamp. And he toddles off to the slave room, uh, to, to the storeroom. Muttering to himself how he will cement a new power base here <laughs> in the city of Omu mm-hmm. and all shall fear the dread slaver, Cody. That's going to come back to bite us. <laughs> no, but uh, I was nice to him. Um, so there's uh, sort of a, a clear run for it now to the entrance. If you guys do want to leave, having done yet another good thing for like once. This is going to be like yes. in um, Saving Private Ryan when they let that German guy go and then he kills Tom Hanks at the end of it. Spoilers. Is he Hitler? Yeah, that <laughs> yeah, they let the German guy go. <laughs> that and he looks boy. so that much like Hitler. Grew up. And he's like, oh, I'm just a private. It's like, like, all right. <laughs> it's like a little boy with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine if that was the end of the movie. And yeah, they, they look up, he gets shot by a sniper, and then they sort of see Nuremberg in the distance, and Hitler looks meaningfully back <laughs> yeah. at him as he puts a false mustache back on. <laughs> in fairness, Hitler was not a child during World War II, <laughs> no. as far as I'm aware. He was a grown man responsible for his actions. I don't know if you're a student of history. <laughs> um, um, so we've got the puzzle. Pub- Cubes. Yes, you have yeah. the puzzle cubes. All right. We have all of them or just ours? Yeah, you even get to keep the manacles, so congratulations. Excellent. We have all of them or just ours? The um, no, you have all nine of them. All right, let's 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 get out of here. Daddle. I rolled if, a... If you guys haven't... What are you rolling? A th- yeah. 19 for scat... What's my oh, skedaddling? Well done. Well well skedaddling. Well sk- I'm going to roll I got a two. skedaddling. I got a six. Oh, oh, I did again. so well that I went... Oh, but it, oh, but it, oh, but it, oh, my legs that's rotated around and then oh. I zipped it away real fast. That's real good. Is skedaddling dexterity? Oh, I... And hey, guys, I hate this. I really really good, hate this. I've got a real good thing for you to shout as you leave, so just let me know when that's... Um, oh, so we're leaving. What, about, yeah. what am I shouting? Uh, well, just when you're at the door. So, if, we, so, the if, door. so if, if I push open the door and then like all of the slaves just like run out past us? Yep, so with their very chafed, chafed lips, uh, they run out... I mean, oh, from kissing. And they it. stream out of the Hall of Serpents and through the doors like a wave overpowering whatever few non-combatant yuan was And one still of them's like, I'll never forget you, Phil! <laughs> <laughs> and um, you're able to follow this um, sort of flotsam and jetsam of human suffering all the way out the gates and back into the city. So you can What's the weather like? You can yell back into the thing, Baidra. <laughs> And at last, <laughs> as you make your way out, the streets of Omu are yours once again. Um, and it's only a short amount of time before you've made your way back to what was once your base. Um, and the portal? Near the portal, right. yeah. The, ba- the camp that was once the camp of the Brotherhood of the Yellow Banner that has fallen into disrepair since you got Lord Brixton killed. How long has that been now? Has it been days or weeks? It's been days. Okay. It's been a few days. I don't so know about you guys, but me need a bath. Yeah, should we have a break? Um, Well, actually, as you get there, of course, there are tents still there. Um, But one of the things is you arrive at the camp, exhausted, hurt, uh, Phil still almost dead with one hit point, is you realise... That that kissing didn't rejuvenate her any? No, not at all. (laughs) Uh, There is a candle burning inside one of the tents as night is beginning to fall, and you realise that at least one of the tents is now inhabited. It's a fire hazard. (laughs) (laughs) Right, you smoking, fire right, well, they've, the just, they've just <laughs> left. Uh, you, did, you did make bass on the fire warden of the group. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can we see any shadows? Oh, because I got a cool tent? hat. Fire warden, yeah. please uh, yeah. go check out the tent. Make a perception check for me. Hachi Machi, it is a uh, 14 plus perception. Shouldn't have wasted that good roll in your skedaddling roll then. Two is 16. <laughs> That's still enough. Okay, yeah, you can see a humanoid figure. Mm-hmm. Um, and not only that, they seem to be wearing martial armor um, cuz the, by the way that they're holding themselves and the size of the shoulders you get the sense that this is a figure that is wearing some kind of ornate breastplate okay does is the um is the tent do we think it's airtight have you ever gone <laughs> camping? <laughs> you been in the tent, buddy? I was well, in the tent and then I then I asphyxiated to death. <laughs> yeah, don't don't zip up tents. <laughs> <laughs> Every <laughs> single summer. Why do they summer? put zips on tents? No, because that because you have the multiple layers of the tent. You have one you Are open you up. And of Are you thinking of Are you thinking of waterproof? No, I Are you no, thinking of a submarine? I want to know <laughs> if I can get in there with a gaseous cloud. Or yes, not. it's a tent. <laughs> All right, I am going to cast gaseous cloud. To and sneak remember. In there. Rem- I can't emphasize enough, your clothes also turn to gas. Yes. There is no cause to get nude. <laughs> gaseous form. All right, I'm going to gaseous form myself. I will say that um, you... I uh, Actually, no, you can't. You haven't had a short rest yet. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Bast- I had, I had one, oh, okay. I Baston's going to be like this. Oh, no, sorry. If you have one spell slot le- le- mm. left, you can. Yep. All right, using your last spell slot, sorry. Um, you 
form the smell of corn is overpowering. If anything, it seems stronger each time he does this. I've just read this for the first time. Yeah. Mm. And I don't think we've been using gaseous. Oh, you're form. using spell cards this time, aren't you? Yes. So you transform a willing creature you touch along with everything it's wearing and carrying into a misty cloud for the duration. Now, can I touch... Oh, I don't mean... <laughs> <laughs> Finish the sentence. Am I a willing creature? Do I count as a willing creature? Yes, of so course I can you be do. like, hachi machi. Yes. But I can also do it to someone who doesn't want to be... I That's mean, but then they wouldn't be a willing creature, oh, would they? Oh, I see. So I got to. Oh, okay, right. I'm Those gonna, are the two words. I'm going <laughs> to gaseous form myself into the tent. Can All I have right. a go? Nah, you go. You go. I've only got one spell slot. All right. All right. The smell of corn is overpowering as you seep into the incredibly porous tent, uh, because its <laughs> designers weren't fools. And inside, um, scribbling furiously in a diary, is the unmistakable shape. Um, of Sir Brigsby Davenport, Grimsby, Grimsby Davenport, <gasps> what? explorer what? and member of the guy. Water Davian Historical Society, who it seems is describing in his diary a remarkable series of events that has led him here. Mm. <laughs> dear, dear chums, dear fellow Water Davians, what a what a ripping yarn I have to tell you. Pip pip, and he actually writes pip pip. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, so there I was plunging to my death. After my friend the wizard had, no doubt due to being overridden by some dark magic, been forced to drop me to the craggy rocks below. Thinking fast, I hadn't thought about this. I flung out my coattails in the way that I'd seen a bat in the jungle do and glid to safety. What? <laughs> glid? Glid. Glid. And then he crosses it out and writes glided. Um, Is he breathing while he's doing it? He's going to just run so ED at the end. Right? <laughs> yeah. He could have just written ED at the end. Yeah, he's, 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 he's breathing. Um, okay. The sea was choppy and I wouldn't have survived had I not landed on a passing whale that took me to shore. I killed it for ambergris. <laughs> and then he pats the pouch of ambergris that he has. <laughs> and it can't, it's, it's just a pouch. It's not like a vial. Yeah. So it's sodden, waxy, and it's in a wet spot on the desk. Spot, spot of luck there. Anyway. We've been doing this show for like four years. And like there are so many characters I love that you do that you just do once and never return. Mm. Remember the crocodile who was like Snagglepuss? No, yeah, he, he was, was great. great. Oh, he returned. He returned in a lot of different forms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then book is like a guy. David Mitchell kind of reincarnation <laughs> saga. <laughs> but this guy, I literally like, I rolled a dice to, to end him and he died. Yeah. And then I dropped him off a cliff and he died. And you're bringing him back again. Yeah. That's right. I'm so That's furious He's about back, this. he's back. So Grimsby's back. Um, we plausibly back. as it may be. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and so, yeah, and so then he's, uh, he continues to write. Yeah. And uh, here I am, finally, as far as I can tell, the only person here in the lost city of Umu. How famous I'll be, how wealthy I'll be, how respected I'll be. And then he um, puts it down and he's really happy with himself. All right, I'm just going to go into his lungs for a bit, but I'm not going to turn back into human yet. Do you remember what happened this last time? In fact, can I see the spell card? Hmm? I think that um, potentially... He's already murdered with it once, so it's canon. (laughs) Yeah, Um, also, you'll be stuck inside a body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you have no more spell slots. That's all right. I will, I will burst out of his um, chest if I need to. I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to do it yet. I'm just sitting in there. Yeah. You just crumple just and die. Just <laughs> hanging out in his lungs. I mean, you'll both Why? die. But like, okay. Also, you're not invisible in this, by the way. So if no, you, I'm a gas cloud. Yeah. So if and you do smell. that, he'll suddenly see a huge cloud um, what appear. <laughs> well, if he wants to react to that, <laughs> and he starts swiping it away, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and he <laughs> runs, probably runs out of the tent. I will say, okay. and comes into face to face with the with the three of you. <gasps> good, 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 ghost. Fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you did. Yeah. As you see, I am quite alive. Funny story: sugar glider, whale, craggy rocks, blah blah blah. It was a batch of ambergris. <laughs> Here I am. Ambergris, anyone? Ambergris, ambergris. Oh, I won't say no. Ambergris. I poke him to make sure he's alive. He's alive. Ivory. Ooh, <laughs> no thanks. Penis of a panda. Yeah. <laughs> Ground up rhino horn. Uh huh. Um, so yeah, so Sir Grimsby explains or possibly shows you his diary to explain where he's been um, yes. and tells you that he'd stumbled upon this camp and that he is preparing some dinner if you'd like to join him. What's for dinner? Yeah. Lobster Thermidor. <laughs> really? Mm. 
What is, what is that? Oh. This is me asking Ben, by the way. I don't know. How far are we from the coast? Yeah, that was my first question. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. Not too not far. Too from, far. Uh, you know, if I would say... Like uh, days? A yeah. week and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, thank you. Come here, River Lobster. Field your game. All right. <laughs> Uh, and Lobster Thermidor, Michael Hing, is lobster made the fancy way. <laughs> <laughs> how is it different to like lobster? What do, how do you usually have a lobster? Mornay. What's That's a fancy thing. It's like white sauce. Uh, so what's Thermidor? Mm. Thermidor is when you eat it with butter and in the shell, right? Oh, the Homer Simpson way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'll be honest. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> 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 yeah, he, what he does is actually he says lobster Thermidor and then he gives you a plate that has some lettuce on it and a live mud crab. Yeah. <laughs> oh. mm. And you can find this oh, you're liking. I lost my cook. Back I on the whale. <laughs> I can handle a mud crab. Okay, you eat a mud crab. All right. Well, first of all, um, I smash it on the head with my um, halberd. Yep. And then it's dead. <laughs> yep. Uh, has, ha- ha- has he got a fire? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a fire. And then I stick it on the end of the halberd and I stick it in the fire like a big crabby mm. marshmallow. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> um, so are you guys just, are you going to stay here? I'm going to so boil a pot of water and put mine in a... Just tea. boil it. Yeah, boil a crab. You guys all having crabs. That's nice. Crab. Yeah, mud yeah. crab, mud so crab, mud crab. What are you doing, Hing? I'm still gas. <laughs> <laughs> How long does that last? Uh, up to an hour. Oh, okay. Where's yeah. that Where's that freezer? I'm sure he feels terrible about accidentally dropping me. All is forgiven wherever you are. Come out, come out. Old school chums, rah, rah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I've probably suffered brain damage in the time that you've... Oh, how, yeah. Can I... C- can... Is, is What gas is this gas? Corny it's gas. like it's human like body like gas. Like, yeah, it's just uh, I think it's like a s- corny gas. So it's, it's not oxygen. <laughs> I can't go into his bloodstream, can I? No, you can't go into his bloodstream. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to make him drunk? No, I was going to go into his bloodstream and then, and then and then maybe stop his heart or something. I don't know. <laughs> you can just kill him if you want to kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, well, you gotta, yeah, just I use your I, use your hands. I feel like he's gonna. I feel like he's gonna have something for us. You yep. know, he's gonna have. Yeah. And, and maybe if I kill him now, I won't get the thing. That, that might be a good thing for us to have. And yet mm. all you can think about is different elaborate ways to kill him. Well, I'm just, I'm a really, look, I'm a really outcomes focused person. I think you, know you make mean? lists. Some people are focused on process. I'm focused on outcomes. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, but the point is that you guys can rest here and Is this a good place to rest though or are the snakes going to come back and kill us? No, well, the snakes are in di- not only in disarray, they're in the other side of the city. So I've, yeah, we're a ways I've, away. I've okay. sped forward a little bit. You guys walked until it was night. Okay. okay, okay well, okay. I'm going to I'm gonna degas myself did out of his body. Did anything interesting? You weren't in, you were, you were in his body. I was in his lungs. No, you chased him out. Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, I was like, whoa, and wiping, running, like, doing it away. Oh, oh, I see. All right. Well, um, I'll reform... Uh, I'll, okay, I'll fly on top of him. It was a good trick once. And then I will, I will, I will, I will um, turn back into my uh, elf form on top of him, so I sit on him for a bit, mm-hmm. and then I'll climb off. <laughs> what uh, pranks! Aha! <laughs> good to see you too, chum. And he starts doing weird private school wrestling with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, private school. And he's <laughs> laughing a bit yeah. too much. How do I wriggle out? <laughs> 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 make, an, make an acrobatics check. I rolled an eight. All right, you're there for a few hours. Um, <laughs> so I feel like Filge and um, Baston and Bobby are just standing there, just like just watching, just watching, just eating crab silently. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what? <laughs> Which is hard for crab. <laughs> <laughs> while you wrestle with Sigrim, <laughs> uncle. <laughs> <laughs> so while Freezer, you wrestle with Sigrimsby, who it seems has decided that you are a school chum for no reason at all. Um, the rest of you eat, and because you're all resting, you can actually. If you're resting the night here, um, as you can all go to sleep. And if you wake up and uninterrupted, you'll get all your hit points back, all of your sort of abilities. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, please. Have Reset. A big old sleeper. But is anybody going to keep watch? Um, Grimsby, I think you should. Grimsby, uh, m- uh, well, tell you what, anything for an old school pal. Stop I'm calling just, me I'm that. Running with this. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, what this yeah. is. It's fine. Um, <laughs> you take that as far as it needs to go and see what happens. <laughs> so mm. he agrees to keep watch for you all. Thanks, Grimo. Uh, um, and you all go to sleep and you all get a good night's uh, sleep. And <laughs> <laughs> good night's. Shit yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. You're all, you all, <laughs> no one wakes up. What is that, Dives? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't know, but it's a 20. So um, once the, as the, me, 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 as day begins to break, you wake up um, and you, uh, you wake to the smell of rich um, bacon. Okay. That is, seems to be cooking. Yes. And all of you rush out of your tents 
to what Grimsby's you're Grimsby's dead. He's just <laughs> cooking in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to what seems to be um, a lovely meal that has been laid out for you by Grimsby, who is nowhere to be seen. And you start to dig in. Um, and th- as you eat, suddenly it seems that all of the food turns to ash and the light seems to seep out of the sky and you realize that you're in some kind of strange and terrible dream because Ugh. the smells of the bacon and, and the it feel the sort of the humidity all whirl around into a kind of unpleasant miasma and as the light drains from the sky it coalesces into a dark shape and as that dark shape appears you suddenly hear on the horizon what was that <laughs> nothing nothing um, a <laughs> um, I'm afraid to a baby. Oh, that's, that's what I thought it was. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's oh, that's worth. That's um, sorry. Sorry, our friend. Yeah. We've been waiting. Our friend was our friend just had a baby. Overdue, and uh, then the baby's here, and it looks really great. That's very oh, nice. Oh my oh, god, cute. it's real. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Okay. Anyway, right, there's anyway. some. Yeah, there's. Well, my guest on the show. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, no. So yeah, there's some magic shit, and you hear um, chimes. And they sort of seem strange and high pitched and um, sort of actually almost it, they remind you of kind of um, half remembered memories of sort of computers and graphics and chip tune because it's the sounds of an arcade machine that you once heard um, what seems a lifetime ago as they play the theme of the Tomb of Annihilation, a video game in a lounge on a space needle somewhere in a different time and place. And I- as that sound forms, a figure appears before you. Um, glitching and jarring in that space um, of a what seems to be a huge towering undead spellcaster with a uh, skeletal mask, a imperious thro- um, crown and dark fearsome robes of black and red. And this is none other than the shape of a Sererac, arch lich and final boss of that arcade game. Hey guys! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, I feel like this is a cliche, so I'm not even going to... I'm just... Yep, great. Good voice. Go on. Hey, guys. Enjoy your breakfast much? <laughs> uh, uh, well, we was having bacon, but now the bacon's gone and you're here. Yeah, that's what I call a psych. <laughs> been, en- been enjoying chult so far? Uh, mm. Yes. yes. <laughs> you like the snake people? No. No. Not really. not particularly. No. Snake people? You like the dinosaurs? Yeah, we yeah. like the dinosaurs. No. Yeah, it's a good touch on the dinosaurs, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> eh? I I don't wanna I might be missing something, but uh who the who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm so sorry to too. I'm a Sararak. Oh, I, I don't uh, March Lich? Planeswalker. Do you have a card? Oh I, I let me just <laughs> You know what? I left my card in my other dimension. <laughs> well, can we see some ID or something then? I don't know. Yeah. Do you have a, your license? Well, I, uh, Make for me quickly um, just an intelligence check, Frieza. You, um, knowing of magic, might have heard of a Sarak. 18. All right. Um, so legends speak um, of those spell casters and creatures of magic and gods that are so powerful that they are not um, restrained to just one world. They can flip between the different worlds that oh, were like created. Us. Yeah, like us. Mm. Yeah. Um, well, I know not really. No, not <laughs> really. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in the, we're Guys, in we're the, all triceratopses. The original dragon friends. You are planeswalkers in the sense that a man falling off a cliff can fly. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> in the sense, so you, mm. you travel from one plane to the other, but you don't really get any say in the matter. Um, mm. uh, Aserak is one of those elite and va- vaunted few that can, and he is also a lich, which is a very powerful type of undead spell caster who cannot be killed and the reason he can't be killed is because he's locked Ooh. his soul away in a relic called a phylactery how do you uh, do that uh you asking him oh boy yes how did no, you don't did tell you this uh, excuse, sorry, guy. No, don't don't please uh, uh, excuse yeah. me mr no, 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 Sarah. Well, <laughs> how does oh please my father is uh a, an entire <laughs> galaxy <laughs> Uh, 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 of screaming souls. You want to know how to how put your soul into a phylactery? Can I, can I call you a Sarah? What should I call you? You can call me anything except late to dinner. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I hate uh, it so much. God. This okay. character's not going away either. No, he's not. He's really... Um, how, how does one lock their soul away into a uh, phylactery? It's a process. It's time-consuming. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. It sends you quite mad. 
But what if one was already mad? Would it send you quite sane? Uh, no, it would send you madder. <laughs> Even more mad. Mm-hmm. So to go on, um, he is a very, very, very powerful spell spell user who can flip between the um, the worlds. And it's said even that he um, he's also the famed inventor and he creates dungeons and he creates perils and traps for adventurers. And I created a pen with a light in it. <laughs> Ooh, front end or back end? <laughs> front end. Oh, so Ooh. you can so when you so you can write in the dark. But when you when you touch it to the page, doesn't that cover the bulb? There are some kinks. Mr. Zarek, <laughs> we have a few ideas for an in, some inventions. Oh, please go on. Um, a crab that's a hat. Uh huh. <laughs> Ooh, I also have an invention. Sorry, you said some ideas. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Uh, um, <laughs> Did you just? Um, shoes that uh-huh. um, help you skip without falling over. How do they work? I, I don't know. I thought you'd help me fill in the gaps. Okay. I really that ideas person. And he's like, ah, well, that's quaint. And then he frantically writes them. <laughs> 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 um, and yeah, so uh, a Sererak is, um, as I said, this is not a Sererak. This is a shade or a sort of a projection. And it seems mm-hmm. to glitch, tessellate, pixelate. And if you touch it, there's a kind of discordant s- noise sound. Wait, did you? Bring us here? Well, of course I brought you here. This is my world. Mm. So what do you want? You want us to do a job for you or something? I would like you... We got like some lazy turtle dye or something like that? To get going. <laughs> yeah, we bring me some turtle dye. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to run the final test. And as he says that, um, the giant gates that were closed, that, w- that um, can rise up, once more rise up behind him is the portal with the nine depressed stones um, no. <laughs> forms in front of him. Try exercise. He, waves, <laughs> he waves a hand and from your bags neatly tucked in the corner, the cubes rise, spin around him in orbit and then fly into the brickwork, causing it to slam open. Guys, I got to be honest with you. I am big, big fans of your debugging work so far. I didn't know that, that that frog place, if you did a certain thing, they'd suck each other off. That's not <laughs> going to make it through the bait. I tell you that much for free. <laughs> so, look, we just got a tiny little bit more for you to do, and then it's goodbye and from me. <laughs> and he coughs because he added <laughs> almond juice. <laughs> Does he need some more Pokemon juice? He would. No, it's all empty. What's, <laughs> the, what, what, what's our prize at the end of this? Ah, prize, yeah. he says. Oh, God, I'm doing it too. <laughs> Good question. Um, tell you what. How do you like not being eaten by dinosaurs? You like that? <laughs> or a slappy hand? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> How many tickets does a slappy hand cost? Is it Big B's slappy hand? Surprisingly <laughs> many. <laughs> um, uh, Sererak goes on to explain that he has created this dungeon deep under the cliffs of Omu as a yet another portal to feed into his phylactery. But it is newly created and he has used this reopening of Omu to draw adventurers through. But... Working out the kinks as he is, he still needs a few more adventurers to test it to make it even more deadly. Once he's happy with it, he will create it for real. Were we the only? Um, I ask Sarah, were we the only beta testers? How did the adventure zone go when they did this? (laughs) (laughs) They were. uh, I'm conducting many tests, (laughs) many simultaneous A and B tests. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. Um. Couple of things. Mm -hmm. Uh. Don't die. Or do. (laughs) Um, Here's some uh, things to help you along your way. And he takes out like a big old trunk. And actually he hands to each of you a small wooden box. And he goes, can't say I'm not a generous man. Uh, To be honest, this dungeon may still be a little bit more deadly than I was planning. So maybe this will even things out. I got a lot of beta testing on level one. Not so much level three and four. And to Frizo, he gives a clock, like a little alarm clock. Mm -hmm. that mimics the ticking of a heart. And to Filge, he gives a diploma <laughs> <laughs> of the... And I can't remember what the Cowardly Lion gets. <laughs> no, he, he, gets, he, gets he gets courage because it was in his wall along. That was the diploma. Right. <laughs> That's right. No, the diploma was for the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Scarecrow. None of those things happen. Okay. Um, a ribbon. That's, by the way, yeah. if you've synced it up to the Wizard of Oz, that's where it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then he says, um, so yeah, the dungeon or die in the jungle. It's up to you. Have a good time, and you suddenly feel a pain at the base of your necks that seems to be overwhelming as everything goes white, and then that white contracts into a point, and you find yourselves awake in your beds. Nothing, it seems, has changed. Does it smell like bacon? No, it doesn't even. Ah! Do you know what? <laughs> Do you know what it smells like? Lentils. Oh. I'm gonna wrap oh, that. Is that, <laughs> that trunk still there? Um. Is, oh, I will actually. Um, so you're, you're racing out. Do I hit points? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, you get all of your hit points back. You get all your like spells back. Do we have the oh, little boxes that he gave us? Well, um, as you arrive out, you see a pot that is full of lentils with Sir Grimsby is stirring and stacked neatly on the end of the table are five, are four narrow um, wooden cases that you recognize from your dream that are still there. Yep. So is, is the gate open? Uh, yeah, the gate is still open. So it got open through the dream. Yeah, and, it, and is the trunk still there? Those little wooden folios are still there. Yeah, there's four of them, and each of them is engraved with a wooden carving of one of your faces. All right, mm. I'm gonna look at the one that looks like Filge. Um, okay, so you take the one that looks like Filge. What's it got in it? Um, you're op- you're opening it, are you? I quickly grab mine, yeah, seeing what <laughs> Frizo is doing. Um, okay, so and I grab Frizo's. Well, Frizo went first, <laughs> so Frizo, you're opening it. Mm-hmm. All right, you open it up. Do I have to roll to see what I get? No, not yet. Um, so you open it up, and the box immediately has what... For a second, you think you can see clockwork, um, gears, and something ticks up a little card which spins around, and it says, what do you desire uh, most? Power beyond reckoning or a second chance? And then Ooh. a little timer opens up, and it starts taking down from five seconds. For what, what, what are the options again? Power, power beyond reckoning or a second chance? Four, three, two, I just take, one. I take the box. And okay, and in that time, okay. the timer runs power out. Power reckoning. And the cogs disappear, and the box is now empty. Pa- power. I know she. She said she grabbed it, and she I said. Grabbed it. It By the time, time I said one, you didn't. Hing was opening the box. No, I want it. <laughs> well, I take it up. Box. I, grab my box. <laughs> I, right. I grab my box, and I grab. I've grabbed Frizos as well. All right. Well, Phil's right. gonna have my box. Then I'm sorry, I wasted the box. I felt like Alex said it. I felt. All right. Well. I felt like I got it, Miss Sarah I think you said it after I counted down to zero. I'm uh, sorry. We have literally typed it, so we could check. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll actually have my box. Sorry. Oh, what's, in, what's in my box? What's in my box? All right. So you're you opening yours? Bullshit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. So you open up your box. Yeah. This is the things have consequences <laughs> round. Um, uh. Your box, okay, also has um, a... Um, it opens up and it says, um, what, do you, what do you seek? Um, a weapon where none stands or a second chance? And a little t- timer opens up and it starts. A going weapon fire. where none stands. Four, Four three, three, a second two, chance. One. Wiggy. I'll take a second chance. <laughs> oh my god! I said a second chance. <laughs> that was <laughs> okay. I said it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was your, a box, your box. Your um, box. Suddenly, it, the back of it springs around, and inside it are three potions, um, each of the red. Ooh. Um, and there's a little one? card that says Potion of Supreme Healing. Can, can, can Fuge have one? <laughs> <laughs> Frieza took so my lunchbox! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I said Frieza's, you can have my one. I hand Frieza's box to Fuge. <laughs> okay, what? Someone read it for me. Okay. Oh, you can't read. Mm, I can't read very well. I know that <laughs> so time's an issue. So three potions. Okay, so it's going to have to be very, very fast. To Bobby, read it. this for me. Okay. Okay, ready? Um, okay so, so it opens um, and it says... Uh, Again, it says, what do you seek? Um, uh, s- spell power without end or a second chance. Five. Spe- spell power. Four, three. Spell power. Spell power without end. Bobby, spell power. Te- spell power. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, it, 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 it sort of materializes and it um, shimmers into place. And then you see um, a amulet that holds a black shard of stone um, and carries the symbol of um, the imprint of sort of the um, the abyssal plant, an abyssal mark on Congrats, it. Congrats, you got a rock. Abyssal what? An abyssal mark on it, a mark of devils. Mad. Can I tie it around my neck? Is it you on can my tie, Yep, you can tie it around your neck. I do, sir. Mm. All right, great. Um, and Bobby? Yep, I'll also open the box. All right, um, and in yours it says, um, what do you seek? Um, a, way, a way open when all doors lie closed or a second chance? Five, uh, open. Four. All right. And inside you find a key that has a question mark on it. Um, it's uh, the Riddler's house key. <laughs> 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 and it says, um, and it has a little card next to it, and it says, um, a key that may open where all doors um, are, are locked. And mm. is that everybody? Yeah. Well, well, Hing gets nothing. <laughs> all right. Um, Hing, cause are you going to keep the box freezer? Um, is it a nice box? It's a nice box and has your face on it. Uh, no, I'm done with it. I, I don't need this box. All right. All right. Um, so, you, Alex, uh, taking the box? Yeah, I'll take the box. I'm going to keep my box. 
right, oh, because it's got potions in it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys take your boxes, um, and you are there. Congratulations. You are at the doorway of the Tomb of Annihilation. And roughly how big is the box, just for, like a pencil case? Like it would carry three potions of, of healing very uh, nicely. Your how big is a potion of healing? It's like a, a little jar. So it would carry three it's jars. Like it's, it's like a cigar like box. It's a f- cigar box, exactly. Okay. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm gl- I, I just loved how unfazed we were by that, like, intergalactic, <laughs> literally. <laughs> What's up? Well, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I said to Grimsby. Oh, I want him into my box. <laughs> so, I said to Grimsby, so did you see the, while well, you were on watch Any overnight? Any boxes for uh, Grimsby before? <laughs> <laughs> Any? There's no box. I'm sure it'll be around here somewhere. Did you <laughs> raise the portal yourself? Eh? What? The, yeah. the, the portal, which is clearly up. Huh? Here now, ready to go. Oh, Did bloody you? hell, you're right. No, it is up. No, that wasn't me, I'm afraid. I was out hunting for lentils. Gathering? He's a vigorous uh, yeah. Supposed to be keeping watch. Uh, yum, 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 yum. Yes. So you left us. I'll be keeping watch, you know. In, in eyes. Never never out of eye or earshot. And he points and he kicks a rocking chair that he's put next to the fire that is facing away from the portal. Mm. I see. Yeah. Hmm. But that's up, so that's good. I f- um, can I scoop out some lentils and fill my box with them? Yep, your box is now full of mushy lentils. Yum, yum. Ooh, that's nice. Mm, box uh, of lentils. Must be nice to have one of I'm them. I'm going to eat some lentils. <laughs> yeah, so let's break fast and... Uh, yeah, that's where it. that comes from. <laughs> <laughs> is that Sigrimsby <laughs> or Ben? <laughs> <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> um, so so Grimsby <laughs> didn't see the, the portal open, the door, um, with the cubes or anything. No, no, no. he was hunting for lentils. Yeah. And he, if anything, he seems a little bit uninterested by it. But then again, he fell from a great height. So <laughs> so he's addled? <laughs> he's, he's slightly addled, I think it's fair to say. And so it's like ready, it's open and ready to go. It's, yeah, yeah, it's open. Well, Pip Pip, on we go. Let's do it. <sighs> Um, so do, do we? Can we um, stock up sort of on regular adventurers' gear like ropes and? Uh, yeah, like yeah. All that yeah sort the of the stuff, adventurers so. part. You can all take a dungeoneering pack, so you yeah, all yeah, yeah. are able to get if you want um, a chain, a healer's kit, a bedroll, water skins. Um, there it. are torches um, that you can take some Torch. of if you want. There's yeah, I'm take two, two torches. Thirty feet of rope each. Um, yeah, yep. Pitons, rope. iron ba- iron bars, Pitons. and. And um, a box for certain years? I want and a crowbar. <laughs> and then there's a box. Uh-huh. Uh, Grimsby finds a box, uh-huh. which is about the same shape. Oh. And he opens it up and it's full of cigars. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, yes, this will help me. Thank you, whoever gave them the box. <laughs> 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 All right, as you make your way to the gates, um, you can see the um, down just down the stairs, carved into the gates, is what seems to be a screaming demon's face, with its maw being the... Uh, th- what you have to pass through in order to enter. Yes, exactly. It's like Luna Park. <laughs> it's like a terrifying <laughs> mountain sharp. And written in common over the... Um, is <laughs> um, it's a very Sydney-focused An reference. inscription that says, Fear the night when the forsaken one seizes death's mantle and the seas dry up and the dead rise and I, a Sererac the Eternal, reap the world of the living. Those who dare enter take heed. Take so heed. Are we testing like out this guy's theme park for him or something? Yeah, that is exactly. We're not even getting paid. <laughs> Do you think the people uh, that test theme parks get paid? I reckon well, why, are we, why are we doing it then? Like yeah, because oh, we want to free the carbonite out. girl. We can't get yeah, out. Yeah, but now he gave us these weapons. We can just live in the jungle and kill dinosaurs. Mm. I mean, that doesn't seem like a bad... <laughs> what, am I going to open a dinosaur with a key? Yeah. Don't forget that, l- like, a Sarah, and you would know this, Frizo, um, He, the reason that people get drawn into his dungeons is because he fills them with fabulous treasure as well. It's th- This is not an empty threat, and this is not an empty promise. And the magics there are definitely powerful enough to raise up um, and restore the two royal children. Also, probably the Skull Chalice, don't forget. Yep. She believed was down here. Um, and there's Aww. plenty of magic items. All right, let's go looking for treasure. All right. All right. All right. Um, now, as I walk past the description, I'm like, fuck Dendar. I don't think the intergalactic, <laughs> interdimensional planes wanderer uh, would be offended by that, right? Uh, Dendar or Acerarak? Acerarak. I just got them confused. I'm like, yeah, this is probably Dendar. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably My name's Dendar. on the inscription <laughs> up there. So yeah. is that Acerarak, the guy with like the horns and stuff? Uh, that was. This is the interesting thing. And if we can take table talk for a second. So uh, Tomb of Annihilation is based on the Sphere of Annihilation. It's based on this old D&D concept of a meat grinder dungeon. 
and these dungeons are terribly, terribly deadly. I have been accused in the chat sometimes. This in very Dragon Friends, chat, or maybe over there. Um, and I have been accused sometimes on the old Tweety tweets, and sometimes at the live shows of going easy on you guys. Ooh. I, mean, you I should, don't you think. Out of public pressure, Dave. I don't. Yeah, I think, uh, well, move. I don't think it would be doing justice to this uh, to this dungeon if I pulled any punches. So, I have given you all back. All of your life. Mm. I've given mm. you back all of your spells. I tried to give you all each a powerful magic item. <laughs> <laughs> and now you are on your own. So from here on in, on if you die. Own. In our big scary dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's on your own fucking head. I didn't get a box. <laughs> <laughs> Griffey's literally singing that. <laughs> That's actually diegetic sound uh -huh. that you're hearing. Um, okay, so <laughs> as you... Um, We've done dungeons before, guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. We, All right. we literally <laughs> haven't done a dungeon before. <laughs> We've um, gone downstairs in a castle once. <laughs> <laughs> and it, all, and it almost killed you. <laughs> <laughs> that was more of a wine cellar. <laughs> 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 All right, so the stairs lead down um, into the dungeon and the sounds of the jungle slowly fade away behind you. These rooms are kind of very meticulously cut out of the rock. They're about 12 feet high. The corridors are about 15 feet wide. And it's almost immediately the stairs even out into what seems to be a long corridor leading forward where you can see eight bestial figures standing or squatting in the alcoves, each of them with a um, small basin of oil in front of them. Is this Mongo and Friends? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Mongo and Mongo Friends. Mongo and the water, ca the yeah, water character. Uh, Mongo, water. Yeah. Bongo. Moa, Shazambi. Oh, Mongo and Friends. <laughs> yeah. um, Did you want a map, David? Yes, thank you very much. No, so there's there's more of them. Um, yes, o actually. Obalaka, Ijin, Wongo, Moa, Nang Nang. Someone turn um, I'm trying to. And Shigambi, it's, yeah. Kubazan. Um, and yeah. Papa Zottle. Yes, you recognize there's a drop bear, there's a monkey, there's a rabbit there's with a with a horn, there's a frog with tentacles. So yes, these are... Mongo, um, and, friends. Mongo and Friends. Mongo, Mongo and fr Friends. I hate that. But it's Mongo. my favorite it's after Mongo. school show. It's, it's <laughs> the D&D Kids spin-off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And as I said, there are um, eight of them leading, leading in. D&D Kids spin-off. Greg? <laughs> TM, I mean, we, we would be the worst people <laughs> on the planet to make that now today. Yes. That's really Kids are going to learn about cum sometime. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's called puberty. That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, boy. So. Oh, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't feel good. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So um, the corridor leads out in front of you. And there's All a right. bit of oil. What? Um, there, there's, oil ba ba the there's basins of oil in, in front of so each of So should we them. use them to light our torches? Is, is that the room, kind of what the vibe is? Is there a corridor past those um, figures or anything? Uh, or? As, you, as it leads further down, you can see um, what seems to be another archway in the distance. Uh, and is it lit? By any means, or do we need to have no, the, it's, here? it's dark. It's okay, it's as the light behind you fades to a point, it gets quite dark. I'll light a oh, I've, I've I have dark I vision. My lantern, I've got much? your ghost lantern, yeah, my lantern of looking. <laughs> yeah, you do still have your lantern, your looky lantern well, that just lights stuff up regular, though, doesn't it? It does, but also if you shine it on secret doors, you can see through them. All yeah. right, I'm gonna shine it on these statues. Okay, so as you go past the statues, you're just going to check, keep yeah, checking them? Yeah, have a look um, All right, so as you go through, you do recognize the gods one by one. These are, of course, the trickster gods that um, rose up the city after Ubtau hardened his heart and abandoned them. Mm -hmm. You can see Moa, the Jackali, Wongo, the Sioux Monster, Aijin, the Almirage, Obalaka, Papazotl, Kubazan. Pikachu. I think you're, I think you're reading that. You I think, think he's so? speaking yeah. in tongues. <laughs> uh, Nang Nang and Shigambi, or, um, mm -hmm, eight mm -hmm. of them. And, all. and Grimsby says all that. Excitedly. Oh, does he? Hey guys. <laughs> okay. Um, and you're you, you're you're leading the way with a torch. Is that right, yep, Bobby? Yep. No, I got torch. Best on my torch. Cool. All right. Um, and are you lantern? And rather. you're investigating them, are you? Yeah, yeah. Having a look, like if there's secret places, or or if you like pull one of their arms down and then like a. Yes, yeah, so like a slide happens. It goes straight to the middle. Yeah. Uh, so far, the eight of them all seem very normal. And it's just regular oil. Yep. Like, like. Canola. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it's like mean? a burn, like a oil for a lantern. Oh, okay. Hmm. Paraffin, mayhap. Mm. Okay. What do we think? Didn't Th look too suspicious. I didn't see any secret doors or anything. All right, I'm gonna, Let's I'm gonna, going. I'm gonna light my torch. Yep. Um. So your torch bursts into flame. Yep. All right. Um. You're still at the front. No, Baston is at the front. So mm -hmm. you're still at the doorway. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, so you come down um, with the flame, and as you do, every time you pass a set of statues, the um, basin of oil bursts into flame, illuminating the, c- the corridor. Ooh. Nice. Showmanship. Automatic, <laughs> automatically. Well done, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you like you like the lights? We like the lights. <laughs> All right. Keep the lights. I'm writing that down. Keep the lights. Okay. He's there, is he? Or is he, is he in the intercom? He's absolutely not there. Does I mean, he pop up like that alien? Is can, like the I'm happy for you to you sometimes know, do that. He's watching. It's like a police, like there, we're behind like that police glass. Oh, he's, no, he's like the voiceover in Laser Tag. You know, the one that's like, please stop kicking each other. <laughs> <laughs> never heard that voice. Yes. <laughs> I, play laser tag. I play Laser Tag by the rules. Like you a gentleman. <laughs> like a gentleman. So all of the, uh, all the bowls have lit up. <laughs> that's right, yep. So, so, Bing, bang, bong. so as I said, you passed four sets of two on either side of you right, as you right, go all right. the way to the end. You guys think we should like because I, mean, I feel like it, it's going to be some like gods kind of stuff. We should like make a sacrifice or do a little prayer or you know I think something to please the gods. I think if we kill Grimsby, that's one body we can't use as a shield later on. I agree. On. I don't know. I just feel like we should make an offering of some sort. Um, we could say a little prayer for you. Yep. Forever <laughs> and ever. From the Let's moment see. me wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Before me put on me makeup. Uh-huh. Me say a little prayer for you. Upto? <laughs> uh, what's his name? Shigambi? Sh- no. <laughs> You're picking out one of the guys. Papa <laughs> Yeah, we say a little all prayer. All of you. How are we going to... Uh, me say a little prayer for all of you. Please remember, Phil's pretty nice. <laughs> Amen. All right. <laughs> she says, oh, man, cool. Oh, and you your win the game as a result <laughs> of... Your, yes! words, your words sort of echo in through the empty room and it's impossible to tell if anything's changed, but mm, you make your way through to the edge of the corridor. Mm. And soon you find another doorway. And this, again, has a carving written over the top of it, which I will give to you. Can I um, read it? Yep. Okay. Uh, which side do I look at? The top, the top or the bottom? That one. Okay. <laughs> the enemies oppose. You guys are going to do great. <laughs> One stands between them. In darkness it hides. Don the mask or be seen. Speak no truth to the doomed child. The keys turn on the inside only. Okay, sp- let's go. <laughs> 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 You're just spooky as hell. <laughs> I, I, I write each of these down on a small yeah, bit of parchment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, as you are writing them down, you notice that the last character on the last line is slightly raised. Uh, the Y? Yeah, the Y. Ooh, push it in, push touch it, it in. Touch it, touch uh, it. Being the shortest of you all... I did not manage to do that. I, I, uh, I, I just want to... <laughs> no, no, sorry. They go all the way around the archway. Oh, okay. Oh. So I just like rub my hand against it and then I guess just like push. And the portal slides open, revealing a little antechamber inside. Ooh, okay. So what can I... Can we see the, the back of the chamber or is it a small chamber? Yeah, it's a very small chamber. It's about 10 feet by 10, um, 10 feet. And... Oh, no, sorry. No, it's about... No, it's about 20 feet across... Uh, wide, wide and 10 feet across. Round or square? It's well, a rectangle. It's a rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> Answer the question. It could be a round room. Okay, so this one's pretty clear, I think. We go into the room and then we put a key in the door and then another door will open in that room. Uh, what about... It's obvious. Um, the w- key open on the inside. Exactly. Uh, so how far are we back from the statues? <sighs> so the statues are now behind you. You guys appearing in... look like they were made... That they had masks on them? No, they didn't look oh, okay. like they had masks right. on them. Their faces. Um, oh, off. I remember that fucking disaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. So, so Probably once. <laughs> so it's a small, it's a small antechamber room, and you can already see on the far side another stone slab blocking the next door, and set into it is an iron lever. Hmm. The enemies oppose. One stands between them. In darkness, it hides. Uh, don't mask. Don't, don't the mask, the mask or, or be seen. seen. Speak no, no truth, truth to the doom child. child. On the mask or be seen, these are the two options. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. But there is no mask, apparently. Not yet. Speak Not no yet. truth to the doom child? Are Dave. each of these, potentially each of these are clues for rooms that we're going to go into? Potentially. Yeah. Or they could all be this room. So what's the first line? Uh, the enemy is opposed. Dave, so bef- aren't all the aren't our little gods facing each other in the hallway? Yeah. Can Do you want to go back and look? So yeah. Can we yeah. go take note of? So they're opposing each other, and they're all we know they're all enemies. Mm. Mm. So f- let's go back and. So what, what order are they in? Dave? So w- so f- uh, f- as Filge goes back to investigate, and she notices that yes, um, Kubazan, the 
Frog Hemoth is facing Papazotl the Eblis. Um, Nang Nang yes! the Gruung is facing Shigambi. Wongo yeah. the Sioux Monster is facing Moa. And Obalaka the, I'm going to keep saying Drop Bear, is facing the Amirage Aijin. So Are you writing Aijin? Down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aijin. Uh, so yeah, missed yeah. like seven of them. No, no. I, 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 got, I got most of them. <laughs> so who was facing who? <laughs> Shigambi. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> I got that. Shigambi, wait. Do wait. we remember who hates each other from the... Wait, I'm, I'm figuring out Shigambi's right. facing Nang Nang? Uh, yes, that... Yep. And who's Unk facing? Or well, Unk isn't there. Now that you are doing this, you notice that Unk isn't there. Hmm. Mm. No Unk, and Unk is the snail. But everyone else, I have the pairs. Yep. Okay. I have the pairs written so down. Well, uh, I had the pairs. Do we, I saw it. Do we, do we remember? We remember. We would remember which, which ones are enemies. Yes, right yes. and these f- these correspond. Okay, so to all the enemies are facing yes. each other. What's okay. what's what's Ijin the the drop bear? Um, no, no, Ob- Obalaka is the drop. That's bear. correct. But who's who's op- opposite Obalaka? Um, I, 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 but uh, what's what what animal? Oh, an is that? Almirage, a bunny corn. Oh, bunny corn. Okay, Cute. right. Yeah, and it is. Um, and what's Papa Zottle? An Eblis, which is a, a fantasy ibis. Ibis. Bin chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, I got it. Line. Enemies oppose each other. One stands between them. Oh, it's Unk. It's Unk. It's so Unk's got to be in snail. there somewhere. So um, we got to look for the snail. Okay, so, so now that now that you uh, so actually yeah now that you've, you've you've done all of this, you notice because the these plinths are faced out, um, spread out evenly facing each yeah. other. There is a bit of wall between the door. There's space for for extra plinths. Uh, but what do you mean? There's a bit of wall between the door. There's space where you could have carved out extra niches. But the last fifteen uh, feet of this corridor right. don't have niches in them. Right. One stand. So d- let's get your lantern and shine it across that. Yeah, can I have a look at that spot where it would where it would make sense for it to be? Yep. All right. As you s- you s- take your lantern and you f- glide it over the wall on yeah. the on one side of it, you suddenly notice that the wall gives way, <gasps> and if you touch it, the wall there's no wall there. <gasps> oh. oh. Yeah. It's an illusion wall. Contractors, right? <laughs> 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 Is that a Sarak? <laughs> With an ongoing running commentary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought I'd put a joke in here about bad. Bad contractors? I think you should watch up the joke. Uh, <laughs> probably, yeah. Can you have a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, okay, let's so go into happens? that door where... The, and on the other side, opposite that, is there also a door there? No, no, just on one side. Okay. Just on one side. Because okay. Unk has no enemy. Right. Oh, because no one hates snails. Everybody Except loves the snails. snails. So, so, on, as well. <laughs> so is one of you going to walk <laughs> into that space? Yeah, I'm going to go in. All right, so inside that space, um, you find a, another... One more statue. This time a statue of a flail snail standing with a beautifully polished shell with a small basin of oil next to him um, and um, hanging around his neck is a golden pendant. Yoink. Yeah, yoink it. Yoink Boy, it. I don't know this. I don't, I don't <laughs> know what's going to happen. But God, that seems like a bad idea. Yoinking it? Uh... I want I want I want I want to grab the the torch and light the basin. Bring yep. the torch in. You bring the torch in as soon as you approach it, it bursts into flame. As soon as you cross the threshold. Okay. Enemy opposed, one stands between them. In darkness it hides. Don the mask will be seen. Okay. Have I seen a pendant like this before? Should uh, you check out the other wall? No, I did, I, I, I did and it didn't open. Um, you of course freeze I have detect magic, so you can also check I want to yoink it. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vaston yoinks it. Uh, it comes open with a magnetic clasp in the back, and you have a golden amulet in your hand. To can I? Is there like a s- latch I can open it with? It's a, mag- a magnetic clasp. It doesn't open. It's just s- it, but it feels heavy and valuable. And what's a bit of gold? And what's what's it in the shape of? Uh, of a snail. Of a snail. Does it smell okay. like corn? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just got used to things smelling like corn. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna put it on? It's comfy. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. If I think I look fly in it, yeah, I'm gonna put it on. Okay, great. Uh, you put on this um, pendant, and yeah. What so is he magnetic? No, you don't know. It, at the <laughs> moment, it doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah. But again, you don't recognize magic. Mm. Hey Frizo, is this magic? Uh, I was doing a can of check. Uh, so you're not going to cast detect magic? Uh, no, because I don't want to. I don't want to burn a spell slot. Okay. Isn't that a, con- a cantrip? Uh, I don't think so. No, 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 no it's, it's not a spell. Um, all right. In that case, it's going to be. What do you get? I rolled a nine. Um, impossible to say. Okay. Without knowing what the stimulus is. Mm. Oh, I got actually no. I was plus five. I rolled a fourteen. Yep. Still impossible to say. Mm. Mm. And it's probably magic. Else, is there anything else in this room? Like, does yeah. it go anywhere, or is it? It's just like no. A, it's an just alcove. a. It's a private shrine for Unk. Um, okay. Can someone? But as I said, this it looks like a powerful, valuable thing yeah, that you yeah. found. So you guys have found something. Can someone detect whether it looks good on him? Oh, um, I can tell him. All right, does it? Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Looks real looks good. Looks real Ooh, good. Best it is. Dog. <laughs> real feature pace. I like Looking it. Looking fly. Really Thank ties you. together the outfit. Thank you. I knew I knew all that, but it never hurts <laughs> to hear. <laughs> you know what it is? It's simple lines. Simple yeah. lines. Yeah. And strong mm. feature piece. Gold. I've got a dark features with gold tends to work well with. You know, I, I know my colors. Sometimes gold looks a bit showy, but I like it on you. Yeah, I am showy. <laughs> <laughs> that suits you. Right, uh, <laughs> is you guys can make your way. Frieza and Baston rekindling. Once, once again, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. It, was the, it was the other way around. I don't think. I think Frieza was kind of oblivious to it, wasn't he? Yeah, it? but maybe you've yeah, seen something you haven't seen before. Oh, maybe. Who knows? This is like the end of <laughs> she's all that. <laughs> I think Frieza. I think <laughs> Baston <laughs> takes off his glasses. <laughs> all right. Let's down his hair. I guess the dungeon doesn't kill you if you just sit and talk about it. We bro, we we worked out your puzzle. All right, that's Sirak. You guys can make your way to the second portal. Okay. okay. All right. Um, as I said, a 20 feet by 10 foot room. You can see uh, on the other side a iron lever built into the... Um, How far away wall. is it? Wall. Uh, into the wall. And can you quickly, for me, for me, just for me, a perception check? Mm. Cool. <laughs> how, far, Cinco. How, far, how far away is 20 it? 20 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20 feet away. Okay. Um, let's lasso it. Yeah, I was gonna say we've got thirty <laughs> yes! foot of rope. <laughs> thirty foot of rope. Uh, it's I'm lasso gonna, time. I'm gonna try and lasso that uh, lever. All right, so you you're gonna have it's to lasso s- the verb. What else? Is there anything else in the room? Mm. No, it's an empty. It's an empty room. Lasso that lever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's dexterity twenty. Oh, it's pretty hard to do for twenty feet away. Oh. oh. Plonk, it lands on the, it lands just on the... I just very slowly pull it back. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay, very, very carefully and delicately yeah. pull back the rope. And um, it comes does anything back. Does it trigger anything? No, it doesn't the seem to do anything. The, the room still seems very mundane. Well, I guess we'll have another go. No, joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, what if we <gasps> get... Oh, yeah, what's your idea? Oh, run back and see if that did anything. If that revealed another um, no, he didn't statue. No, because le- he didn't hit the lever. Didn't work. No. no. no you got Sorry, the, yeah. I didn't. If you want to take a lot of time, you can do it and you will eventually do it, but it'll take some time. Yeah. What okay. if we get uh, maybe a little dragon to hit the lever? Yeah. All right, well, I, su- I summon <laughs> Bushu. Um, okay, you summon your pseudo dragon, Bushu, yeah. who you, who, with whom you have a complicated relationship. Oh, hey. hey. It's good to see you. Are you talking to me or the Yes, guy? you, right. master. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say oh, that you like it when I call you that, don't you? <laughs> well, no, <when> you <laughs> <laughs> South African accent. Well, when you said it, just your eyes narrowed quite a bit. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I am happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Very having sarcastic. a good... I wasn't doing anything <laughs> what were you up important. To? What no, were you nothing. Doing? Don't worry. <laughs> you know, the last. I think the last two times you've summoned Bushu, it has been to try to get him to trigger a trap for you. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Um, never true. just to say hi. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, never just to ask how your day yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? No, well, let's, let's do that. Um, let's let's get to know Bushu. Um, what what have you been up to since the last we chat? I was in the plain of cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> just kicking back with some mojitos. Just giving back, sipping it. You know, I do. I have my. I What's have your favorite cocktail? I'm gonna. What's your g- drink of choice? Well, choose gonna, your poison. I'm gonna say a Singapore sling. Ooh, what's yep. in that? What's Singapore? Uh, maraschino. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> it's look, it's very sweet, like me. <laughs> <laughs> um hey. Hey. You like treasure, right? No, not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> Why what, do you? What makes you tick? What do you want? Let's, let's, Cocktails. You know what? Hey, I just uh, I, I just realized we haven't had a performance review in ages. Oh <laughs> yeah, really? Let me, tell, let me ask you, Bushu. What's what it gonna take want, to get fired? What do you want out of working here? <laughs> um I would prefer not to. Right, but unfortunately, you are kind of bonded to me. That is unfortunate. Is <laughs> as, the right uh, word? Yes, as uh, I mean, that's so. Let's just make the best of a bad situation. Let's flip this. Imagine you work for me. Uh huh. Do you well, like it? Well, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Of course not, but that's not the way the cookie crumbles. So you've you, you got to tell me, what do you want out of this relationship? I would like to leave this relationship. <laughs> All right, you know what, Bushu? If you hit that, if you, if you hit that lever over there, and it, and you trigger it. I'll 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 set you free. I promise. Do you? <laughs> he puts out his tiny dragon hand with his little pinky. How many fingers does he have? Five. Uh, three little claws. Okay. He puts out his pinky claw. Uh, what do you you want to do? A pinky swear? Yeah, I'll I want to do a pinky you. swear. I'll pinky swear it with you. That's a big. Don't fuck me, Freeze. All right, but if you it, wait, <laughs> is this, is this is one of those things where check? if I, I if I let if I let you go, you know you're not gonna get all big and nasty, are you? You're no, still gonna be this a is my one. regular size. Okay, you're not gonna. 
You're gonna. No. You're not, also, if I let you go, you've yeah. got to agree to like forgive all the you know all all the <laughs> yelling we did before, all right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. No way. Are all you right. real? Is this? Are legit? you making fun of my accent? No, <laughs> you just like did you for a second. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did. Like you okay, well, that's also included in the forgiveness package. <laughs> okay, well, I, can I ask? Yeah, get all, get it all out. Is this how all your breakups go? Here? Is, uh, Basically, is the forgiveness package. <laughs> yeah, is go, this a, I'm offering you a forgiveness package. <laughs> uh, very generous. <laughs> just tell me, is this a bluff check or no, 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 no. you really mean what? it? Yeah. No. All right. But uh, this is this is this is this is yeah. This is for real. All okay. right. Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> easiest severance package ever. Okay. <laughs> Flies in, and the moment that he flies in um, and gets crosses the threshold, yep. suddenly a small door in the um, a smaller door inside the door opens up, and a skeletal hand comes out as he approaches the lever, and that hand pulls um, suddenly sort of retracts and pulls out an hourglass and turns it, and the hourglass is counting down from thirty seconds. Uh, cool, but he's going. To, he's going to the lever, right? Yep. So what happens when he hits the lever? So, yep, so he, he can run, he gets the lever when it's about 27 seconds full. And when he pushes it, what happens? You want me to pull this? Yeah, that's the... That's okay, that's off I go, and he pulls the lever. All right, it's, you have to really, really pull and pull, obviously, because you're a tiny little pseudo dragon. Yeah, this is easy, it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so it takes you a few more seconds to do it, and at about the 20 second mark, the lever opens. And at that moment, there is a click and a hinge inside the corridor opens, and the entire floor of the corridor opens that we are in the yep. one the no, one that no, we're the in the one that you're all peering the over the door. precipice oh. of and it clicks open and the you can see sp- a deep fall filled with spikes and with one skeleton impaled on the spikes probably Whoa. wasn't a skeleton when you got impaled Could you, have don't been. Know, you don't know i don't that. know that not in this cr- crazy mixed up <laughs> world wow that was lucky <laughs> bye <laughs> all right you're free Bye, Bishop. But Yeah, wow. Love you, wow. Fuse. Love you, Bobby. <laughs> you Love looking you for best. a new job? You want to work for me? Uh, no, not particularly. <laughs> I'm going to just go back to drinking cocktails. Oh, okay. But look, if you're ever in trouble... Don't call me. <laughs> bye. Bye. Oh, bye. And I guess Bushu leaves forever. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, actually, I, well, this is he's a pseudo dragon and you're a warlock. So while he's still there, suddenly a kind of eldritch contract appears before you, um, which he's used his magic to summon. And it is a contract laying out the terms that you gave. Mm-hmm. And there's a quill next to it. All right, I sign it. All right. You sign it. Uh, it disappears. And then be like, well, oh, fuck. It's, I guess it's been. What's this I bit? Still, no, I, okay. Bit I'm fine. I'm pretty busy. I got other things to do. So. Yeah, man. All right, bye then. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye. And I guess. Uh, I guess Bushu failed his bluff check. <laughs> 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 um, and after of uh, twenty more seconds of this, the hourglass finishes its time and removes itself. And at that moment, the wall, uh, the sides of the floor open up again and the hairline crack that connected them seems to vanish at, with a final click and it would be impossible to see where the trap back. was. Um, so hmm. what's the deal? When so we pull the lever, the thing The lever's still down now. So it's us, oh. then the room. Yep. At the back wall of the room, there's a lever. Yep. On this side of the room, there's the where the hand and the hourglass came out of. And then further than that is the trap corridor. But the door, the door also recessed back, came back in slightly when the lever was pulled. So, so it where's like the, is the door in front of us, or is the door on the other side of the room? Well, the, on the other side, side of the room. room. Um, and and the what happened to the hourglass? Sorry, what happened to the hourglass? It's room. gone again. So it's is the door in. inside the door that the hourglass came out of? You can't see it. A again. doggy door? How big was it? Like a doggy door. Wait, that's the door inside the door, or the door that the door is inside? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't imagine this. I, I am, like a doggy I'm so confused All I'm by the saying words. is you you pulled the lever and because the hourglass was still counting, a, the door did seem to swing back a little bit. So it looks like Which the door? The door the door the hourglass came out of or the door the front the, the back? The front the door you're trying to get through. Oh, so there has been a there is a porthole. The Let's call it. Oh my god! Let's call the thing that the hand came through the porthole. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The lever to the side of the door seemed to disengage the door, but it also activated the pit trap. Mm. And then at the end of the hourglass, the hourglass disappeared through the porthole again, and the pit trap reset itself. With the right. skeleton hand with the hourglass on it. Yes. Was it? At uh, is it just like a regular skeleton hand? Like is it? <laughs> <laughs> or is it, big? Is, it like a, is it made of bones? Yes. In a row. Like real big. No, it was normal size. And that was activated by crossing the threshold. No, by pulling the lever. Uh, and okay. Oh, no, sorry, you're right. By crossing the threshold, yeah. yeah. 
And did the lever reset as well? No, the lever's still there and the door still looks so like So the lever's down now? Yes. And the door's open? And the door is... It's, it's pulled. Set. Yeah, it seems ajar. Okay. All right, well, it looks probably safe. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go across. All right. right. Uh, you walk across and yep. you tenderly press the door and it swings open. Okay. And oh. the hourglass didn't pop out? No, no, no. It's all okay. Like off yeah, we go then. The we go. Oh, sorry. No, actually, as you arrive to the door, the hourglass comes out and it starts to count. It starts okay. to time again. Okay. I go real quick. Let's go. You guys race across and you're able to get through the door. You guys just missed out on getting a free hourglass. Fucking idiot. All right. Now my eggs are gonna be overcooked. Damn it! You find yourself. Um, there's about another twenty feet of corridor facing a T junction. Facing a T T junction. Okay. So, can you want to shine your lantern? So we can go either left or right. Yes, basically. Uh, yeah, I look around my lantern uh, to the left. Uh, you're going. So you're walking 20 feet forward. So you can look around the corner. Yeah. Okay. All right. Quickly make a dexterity save. Oh for me. no, traps. <laughs> um, so actually, no. Sorry, it's a plus eight to hit. What's your armor class? My bad. Oh. Oh Ooh, boy. <laughs> okay. That's two nineteen. <coughs> Ow. I don't want to. Dave, stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you get hit. Um, so suddenly poison darts spit out no! from the wall. Um, and you take poison damage. <gasps> no! Um, which means that you're poisoned now for the next hour. So don't oh, forget you have disadvantage. Disadvantage. Um, and you take 14 hit points worth of damage. Hachi machi! Twing, 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 twing. And hey, as you look down, you can see I'm a so square poisoned. tile that clicked when you stepped on it. Shit. Do you still like that else? information? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're about t and you're about ten feet into the corridor. Don't don't stand. <laughs> <laughs> hey Grinsby, why don't you go first? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I'll give it an old eat and try. And he goes first. So you just he's, he's keen as a bean. Yeah, right, you're gonna but he, no, but at first he's like, um best on, old old bean. What what was the tile I was not to step on? Can I indicate it with just like a put a bit of yeah. scrap of rag or something? Yeah, easily. It? So you just put some rags around it. So yeah. you just the, do the rags activate? <laughs> <laughs> the rags um, get no, they don't. They're fine. Actually, the, you know, for the poison, I will let you make a Constitution save. Yeah, yeah give me death. You save. get two chances for two darts. Um, yep, you're poisoned. <laughs> oh. um, I'm so bad. So at he dice. he goes up to where Baston is. Yep. Goes around the tile. And can I do like a perception? You absolutely. You're searching for the tiles. Yep. Oh, looking um, for things. That's a four. Smart. Great. Click. All clear. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> yep, one. Uh, one of them hits you. So uh -huh. you take eight points of damage, and Grimsby is not poisoned. Overcomes the poison. Uh -huh. But you found the second tile. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, quick thing, chaps. There's a tile right here. <laughs> Allah, and he takes a rag or whatever, and and um. Great. That? This is one way of mind sweeping. You guys have found <laughs> <Ow! Ow! laughs> two poison tiles. Um, okay then, uh, I'm gonna do the walking, did, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap one walking. of the iron bars <laughs> I have in front of me as I walk. But it's gonna be like I'm gonna be like walking like oh, this. That's, like that's very cool. clever. Um, as you walk a little bit further, after a while, there is a tick, and two poison darts fire just in front of you. Um, where do they go? Into the opposite wall, because you're... Can I take uh, the darts? Yeah, if you want. I take the darts. All right, you have two darts. Poisoned. But um, wrap them in something, I reckon. Like one of those rags that we have thousands of. Uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put them in the water skins. Yep, you're putting in the water skin. That you're one of the water skins. On so one, one, one of the water skins is that Are you going to mark it? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, everyone remember, it's the one that's slightly larger than the other one. Yeah. All right, all right. Nobody else try that down. <laughs> um, great. Excellent. And so you tap your way across. Yep. And uh, doing that, you find two more tiles. So you can get up to four darts if you want. Uh, six darts? No, no. Oh, sorry. Six darts. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to have a tiles. real... Two each. Yep. Four. Yeah, four. No, six no. There's two so more. Two already extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, sorry, guys. I was just showing off that I could add up. <laughs> <laughs> what numbers did you add? Two and two. Ooh, <laughs> thanks yeah. very much. Thank uh, okay, well, I'll keep those separate, but I'll, I'll wrap them in the rag. And So I have four darts and a poison water skin. Very nice. All right. Mm. Um, and soon you find yourselves at the T-junction. <coughs> um, to the left, you can see what seems to be a window carved into the end of the corridor. And to the right, it seems to open up into inky blackness. A window leading to light? Yeah, to a lit room. Like, mm. do you mean lit like... Cool. Lit AF. Yeah. Uh, so it's a window. I'm can I go and peer through the window? Yes, you can. Um, 
So creepers and vines cling to the walls of the corridor and at the end of which you see an arched crystal window that is about 10 feet high, six feet wide. And inside you can see what seems to be a funerary chamber. Um, mm. it's, it's kind of smoky, but you can see torches burning um, and a central um, raised dais which has a kind of sarcophagus on it. Uh, is there, are there any inscriptions along the top, like clues? No, no, not at all. But okay. you can, it, and, and this crystal looks really thick and difficult to break, but it shows you at least that there is some kind of tomb on the other side. Um, oh, <laughs> is that the... Uh, sing the highest note that I possibly can. Okay, well, let's hear it. Only dogs can hear it. Oh. <laughs> Roll the dice to see how high you can get. Is this a performance check? No, Jesus <laughs> performance is charisma. That is a six. That's a that six. is a six. Okay. You, are a, you have a wonderful baritone, <laughs> but it is not enough to okay. break crystal. So do you think that's the very same tomb of annihilation? I reckon that wouldn't be three rooms in. <laughs> 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 Maybe I found Make a shortcut. A perception. Might be Make a, a perception check for me, Filch. Might okay. be the tomb of illumination. Just an easy ten. Well, that's I'm not going to get to that. All right, okay. I do I perceive anything? Uh, is anyone else looking through the window? Yeah, I want to look through the window. All right, you go up to the window too. 16. Baston, you notice what Filge didn't as you walk towards it, which is that the floor changes at one point, and it's a grate. And in fact, you can hear as you cross over it the sluggish sound of um, water Slug passing scrub. underneath. Uh, but not moving very quickly. Very sluggish. Mm, sluggish Slug water. Filled with slugs. <laughs> sluggish like a glacier? Water. No, mm. that's moving even slower. <laughs> so just in this corridor is a grate. Is it, so you had to, you walked over a grate mm. to get to the crystal. Mm. And can you see... So could the crystal be ice? Is it cold to touch? No, it's crystal. Oh, mm. okay. So it's like is a it like wall Swarovski crystal? crystal? Like is it shaped like a bear or something? Uh, <laughs> it's shaped <laughs> like a window, like a uh, Swarovski window. But is it like no. a window into a, like yeah. to a door? It's so we're looking through a window into a room. Can I ask room? an out-of-game so question, yeah. Dave? Are you using crystal because in this world, as we've discussed, glass doesn't exist? Or is the crystal thing <laughs> in the thing that... No, it says crystal in okay. here. So All I'm right. going with crystal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that seems like a long time and, ago. And do we see... Is there, is there any water in the, the chamber room? Like um, is, it, is there like a little rivulet or a fountain or... There's, uh, if you, there's not, but as you peer around looking for it, you do notice there are steps leading up into the room on the, um, s the southern side of the room. You're looking in through a wet window facing west. Why don't we get Freezer to gas himself into um, and follow the, wa follow the water under the grate? Because well, I don't think we know how I can get back into the sarcophagus room. But you could just follow the grate water. Does it look like on the, the other side of the crystal the floor is a grate? Uh, no, but as I said, there is steps leading up into the room on the southern side. So how can we get... Through the grate, then. Aside can we lift from it up? Being uh, you can try to lift it up. It's actually quite thick um, set, so the is bar it, space. I believe Baston said he had a crowbar. Is it metal? Yeah, I did. I took a crowbar. It's, it's metal. Also, Bobby, you could probably slip through it. Uh, certainly, gaseous form would get you through it as well. Alex is also right. So the um, grate. Okay, goes I might. If I can fit through it, I might tie a rope on it and lower myself down and see if I can see anything. What's the distance between the grate and the water? Do you think? If you had to guess. Why don't we lower down a rope? I'm a spit. And see How where it gets it? wet. Um, to test it. Yeah, okay, you you, lo you lower it down and about seven feet yeah. down. That's, um, a, that's about Phil's uh, size. Actually, it, no, at about seven feet down, it reaches the bottom. At about three feet down, it's, uh, it gets wet. So we could all stand up in the... Oh, you couldn't, Bobby. Oh, on a faux pas. Oh, so we're going to ride this roller coaster. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, all right, let's try and lift it up. Let's try and lift up uh, the Are you all working together? Yeah. 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 Okay, you don't, I'm not going to make you roll. Um, with th there's enough of you that you all pull the grate Sorry, up. can we just mark this? Uh, that's four years and, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks that they worked out that if they work together, it's <laughs> 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 <are> easier. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Um, <laughs> Instead of the rest of someone trying very hard to do something, others just leaning against a wall, <laughs> yeah, like, so many checking their phones. Not me problem. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you just can't do this. Um, great, you all lift the grate. And you you can definitely hear and see the water just three feet below you. All right, I'm gonna. Um, We're getting into a sewer. Is yeah, yeah you don't, you don't have like? any guarantee that it's not piss and poo. Does it smell like poopers? Yeah, what's uh, the smell? Are there any um, chompy fish in it? No, there doesn't seem to be any chompy fish. You seem there's an unpleasantly acidic mm. smell. Could be piss. Um, that or acid. <laughs> that seems to be coming oh, yeah. sort of fr fr more from the south side. Mm. Is that and is the water and flowing to the south or from the south? The way the water is flowing. To the south. From the south or to the south? To the south. There's yeah, the way the direction the water is flowing gets a bit more acidic. Let's Ooh. drop that. Let's do that. Let's drop the rope down there and see if um it if gets like uh, if, away it's, if the water is actually acid and see if it gets eaten away. Yep. So okay. we'll so you're gonna let uh, fifty feet of rope yeah. just flow downstream? 
Yeah, but we're going to hold the other end so yeah. we can pull it back up. <laughs> <We're not> Crucially, <laughs> this time we this are going so to hold efficient. the other end. This is all, these are all, you guys are doing some really good trap checking. Um, yeah, okay, the rope goes, flows down um, and after a while you haul it back in. And you can actually, by sniffing at the rope, you can smell in some parts of it that kind of foul sulfuric smell. But other than that, it seems unharmed. So sulfuric, it's not uh, acidic. Mm. Sulfur, it's, it's accurate. Just it's like it's a nasty yeah, yeah. smell. Sulfur is like volcanic. Like Iceland. Is it? Sul- is sulfur volcanic? Yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that, is that, is you, you'd okay. smell it at Rotorua. Actually, I tell you what. It smells. It smells more like oil than anything else. It's kind of mm. that kind of smell. Mm. Oh, like petrol kind of thing. Yeah, maybe? sort of. And so, um, does does the uh, end of the so rope smell more like that than the rope? The, the bit that they. Yeah. Were? No, actually, yeah, it, it, there's definitely it's it's gone through this up here and uh, this. Is, Acidic area. I'm just gonna um, touch the, the 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 flame of my torch to the um, <gasps> lower it just to make sure that there's no like petroleum floating, like something burnable on it. So if someone can just lower me down as I do that. But what if it, it is petroleum and you catch so on fire? The, you have the rope back with you, so it's come through the water. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just test the rope. <laughs> All right. So you you take your tinder box out and you lay some sparks. Well, I've got a yep. yep. Torch, and then so he I'll tries to find a date for that night. <laughs> <laughs> You've done that joke. You did uh, that joke last time. I said tinder box. I bet I have. Um, <laughs> the Okay, even this whole thing's just four jokes on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, obviously, the rope is sodden because it's been pulled through the water. Yep. But even so, the it, as the sparks touch it, you see a burst of a kind of blue-greenish flame that then quickly sort of normalises. And you realise that, yes, it's come into contact with something flammable. Yeah, that's piss. This doesn't... <laughs> Is your piss flammable? Yep, everybody's pisses. That's wait, wait, not no, let's <laughs> that's not true. There's Every a YouTube video everybody that Ben's posted that you should really look at. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well hey guys, like, subscribe to my flaming <laughs> piss channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, just to keep in context, the uh, darkness on the other side, in darkness it, it hides. Um, don the mask or be seen. So here's what I'm thinking. If this is some sort of room with a psych- sarcophagus in it, there could be some kind of a death mask or something in yeah. there that uh-huh. may be a way to get oh, through the dark room. Okay. That's but what I'm thinking currently. S- but speak no truth to the doomed child. Has that come through yet? That, I mean, is, is that in order? Has cross anybody off the, met th- cross off the things children. that you think you've already done. Okay, yeah, yeah, Enemies good idea, opposed, good idea. I feel like <laughs> is that so grim me? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> God's sake! have done a lot of dungeon delving. One stands between them. <laughs> the worst thing is if you use <laughs> yeah, a clue for the previous <laughs> room on this room. That's how I lost my cousin. <laughs> I think they're in Did pairs, you forget right? you Do you think so escape grim? rooms yes. exist in this world? Or or yeah, yeah, dungeons. No, I think for the same reason that, like, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to go on a holiday and then it's have to do your it's work. It's busman's you know? holiday. Yeah. 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 Um, so, okay, so what are you going to do? Uh, oh, phew, huh. mm-hmm. Guys, what do we think? Uh, so we can't get through the window. I'm just looking under the in the tunnel. There's no like rungs or anything on the underside of the, like, the, the channel. Or, um, like, there's no... No, no, but it's again, it's, it's, it's not very deep. You can swim. You could probably swim your way through it. But at the moment, it seems just like almost like a... Uh, an aqueduct. It's sort and of anybody with dark vision could stick their hand underneath and see how far it goes. Oh, it fine, I'll do it. But you know, because of the rope, right? Yeah, but like if there's, like, if you can see anything at the other end, it if it's co- open ended it or if it's like. It a bends around after a while to the west. And okay. what's in the other direction? So that's the one direction has the petrol swamp, and then if what happened. Well, that's a, how. how and it's sluggish, so you could swim upstream. You could swim upstream, but you, you can't do your rope trick, obviously, upstream. No. But is the other direction towards the tomb chamber or away from it? Away from it. Away, away from it. it. Towards the other corridor, which we haven't checked out yet. Yep. Hmm. Should, Should we, we check out the other corridor yeah, and then make a decision? Yeah. Okay, so going yep. down the other, other corridor, um, it opens up very quickly into a massive, um, sort of almost like a light well, but it's very dark. A huge... A dark well? A dark well. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, a huge sort of air, um, space that's been cut out of the center of the cliffs, and there are balconies um, at intervals going all the way down, although the, your light quickly fails you as it goes too far. So you can see a balcony th- about 20 feet down below you and then another balcony below that as stairs mm. travel all the way around the um, space. But stairs with like 20 feet gaps between them? And they go balcony to balcony and then they stop and then they go balcony to balcony. Mm. Um, so so we'd, have like to, we'd have to jump or whatever from a balcony no, to a balcony? No, it's just a giant spiral staircase. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, and um, the entire... Oh, I see what you mean. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel sometimes I over-explain things. <laughs> and maybe to... A, nope. And it's like it goes up and down. Can we uh, can we access the stairs from where we're standing? You can, yep. Um, so you and is that... Do, do we smell the same smell from before? No, this is all very... This feels like sort of clean, still... Okay, but so this is probably, so probably yeah. two separate chambers then. So I reckon we go back. Uh, Dave, was the... So there's the the... 
the corridor that that links the tomb chamber and the big dark well. Yeah. Was the stream running parallel or perpendicular to that? Uh, it's it's cutting across. So here's your dark okay, well. Okay, it's cutting across. There's it. the other room. Oh, okie doke. Um, so yeah, it's so as I said, it's a just it, it's a kind of grand staircase leading down that shows that there's at least three or four levels yeah, below you. Mm. Um, yeah, and also, um, can you? Who's you're all here? Here, you're Bobby. Why don't you yeah. actually make for me a perception yeah. check, Bobby? Uh, that's a four. All right, great. I perceive things too. <laughs> Five. <laughs> <Do you? laughs> um, excellent. Do, 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 do. All right, cool. So yeah, you got and there are stairs which would lead down, as I said, from from here. Hmm. But what that would be do? further and deeper Draggies? down. I think I think the way dungeons generally work is if you go downstairs, that's like another that's like another thing. So I think we should go back to the the river and and, and I mean that's that just not exclusive to dungeons, by the way. What I also <laughs> <laughs> our buildings. <right. laughs> what I also haven't said, and I apologize for this, is that the way that the stairs would go up doesn't. This is the top level. Instead, it carries the balcony carries all the way around the staircase. And then uh. there are exits leading further um, on the far side of the staircase, and also another one leading north. Mm. Oh boy! So there's right, more I stuff. I think let, let's go back and work out the crystal room first. Yep. Great. So you have we tried any force at all on the on no. the window? I'll give it a go. You give, give it a bash. Give it a bash. Yeah, I'm gonna bash it with my maul repeatedly. Um. Yep. Cool. What are you roll? Uh, I got a 20. Yeah, all right. That's Not a natural 20. No, yeah, yeah, that'll hit, so do damage. I will. D12. Or 2d6. 2d6. Um, that's bonus damage. You also... Da oh, you're doing... 2d6 plus 4. Doing yeah. my damage. Oh, yeah, 2d6 plus 4, yep. So it's 8 damage. All right, 8 damage. Eight. You get the sense that you'll be here forever. Like, it doesn't do enough damage. It's just mm. slide in there. Molly, no like. New plan. <laughs> I think we so we got to go go get dirty. Let's go down. But there is wait there w on the other side of the chamber we could see that there was a door with stairs coming up into that. Yes, that's tomb correct. Room. Okay, so we're going to go down to down to go up. Yep. All right, let's do it. What Kay. what sh should we just should we light a fuse? Should we light a rope and dip it into the water to burn away the fuel first? So that if you if you lit a rope and then dropped it in water it would go out, but if you wanted to for instance like um you could probably make a shallow ship or something and put a lantern or put a bowl if you had something that was flammable that floated you could drift it downstream i've got a pot you but do yeah. have a pot yeah. i've got four pots but so let's put some rope in a pot lower the pot down and then like i'm uh, sorry a rope on fire in a pot and we'll float float the pot boat down the river to keep that burning you'd probably need some lantern oil or something why don't we just put that lantern in there or a lantern or a sure. torch or something yeah, yeah, you just need something that's got fuel. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll use my torch because I can cast light as a, as yeah. a cantrip. Okay. okay. So I'll you break. So you cut down your torch and you put it in a pot. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you float the pot down the... Yep. Um, down the river. Down the river. Yep. So for about a minute or two, nothing happens. And then there's a... Foof, and you can see actually below you a fireball burst out in all directions. Nice. Nice. Hot. Well, let's not go down there because all the oxygen would have just been taken by the fire. All right, we'll count to ten. How does Filch know that? <laughs> 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 Good point. Survival instincts bring out a, a, lot of, a lot of scientific wisdom from Filch. <laughs> don't, you have a lot of don't you have wisdom but no intelligence? I do have uh, wisdom, but I mean, it's something you'd learn in science class. <laughs> <laughs> wisdom. All right, Phil doesn't say that, but someone else could think it, that's for sure. <laughs> Phil doesn't say that, but she still waits for 10 seconds because Mama didn't raise no fool. Uh -huh. um, and then the grate is gone, so yeah, you guys can dip yourselves down if you want. All right, Are we you, going can swimming? you can go on my yeah. um, shoulders, Bobby. Swim against the tide. Um, with the tide. With the tide. With the water or against Towards the water? Towards the room. But is it, wait, so... Towards the room. Does the water... Oh... I thought the I thought the water was flowing away from the room. No, we were very clear on that. <laughs> I got so confused. <laughs> Visualization is something <laughs> that you struggle with. I thought with. you said because when I was like I was going south towards the south, I thought no, the south was away from us. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, right. it's floating this way. So um, you guys are going down, going down. You yep. soon eventually you find an embankment in an area that is scorched with dust, and it's where the smell is stronger. Although the smell seems a bit abated now, but you can see if you as you look at the rocks, a sort of hissing. Um, as there seems to be like um, gases that are always kind of escaping from cracks near here, very, mm. very slowly. And at the Sounds end of that bank, game. you can see a door. Ooh. All right, let's hold our breaths. Yeah. And maybe put our flames out. We're not hi carrying flames. No, are you we? guys didn't bring your torches. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing digitizing uh, some light. Though. Okay. Okay, so you're casting light. Great. Yeah. Let's extinguish. All right. 
Great. Um, so you guys make your way um, to the to the door, and yep. that door is open, so you can uh, is is unlocked, so you can just go through if you want. Okay. 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 All right. You go up some stairs, and you find yourselves again in the vaulted tomb that you saw through the crystal. Nice. Um, nice. Slightly overgrown with moss and creepers, with a stone sarcophagus, as I said, on a central step dais in the middle of the room, um, surrounded by large statues, um, all of them of ferocious bears, um, totemic sort of in their visage with sharp razor, f- uh, sharp teeth. And you can see that the central fresco is a giant design again of Obolaka. Well, which, which, uh, what the drop bear. The drop bear. The drop bear. bear. Okay. Uh, the drop hey, bear. Um, the bunny. The bunny. Um, two of those bears, by the way, uh, the far side of the room are holding a giant a gold disc that is carved with eyes and there are niches carved around the room and in each of them desiccated corpses lie slumped each of them wearing brilliant feathered paper mache masks okay refer to <coughs> in the darkness it hides don the mask or be seen well, speak no truth to the guys. doom child the key turns on the inside only is that gold disc could that feasibly be a mask or it doesn't it, it's, I said it's inscribed with um, what looks like a fre- design of hundreds of eyes. Are you have investigating it? Yes. That yeah. might be the thing that sees you. You know, it says <coughs> be seen. Saying. Just yes. make a perception check. Oops. Uh, two. <laughs> yep, Third it's time's uh, a charm. I want to have a look at it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to look at it. 18. Nice. All right. Um, I don't know why I'm still letting you do that, but that's fine. So the um, you actually notice something which is that the central pair of eyes on the disc are actually flitting left, then right, oh! left and right. So the eyes on these, this, the carving is actually alive and moving as it scans the room. Okay, so and it's on one side of the shit. disc? Or it's, it's on in the both far sides. side of the room, of, of the disc, but that disc is in a vantage place that sort of commands the room. Okay, so, so we need to get a mask. Yep. But Can we but reach any of the all of the But all of the dudes with paper mache masks are dead. Yeah, that didn't dead. help them. Um, right. they're, 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 there are desiccated corpses wearing masks. What's desiccated mean again? Like it's like the coconut. Like <laughs> <laughs> dry. Like white um, and flaky. Dry and old and mummified. Uh-huh. And they are they're they're in the niches like like it's a tomb. Do they look yeah, so they don't look like they were sneaky people trying to they're break. They're not in. dead on the floor. No, they're oh. they're sitting yeah. cross legged in oh, niches. Okay. So Grimsby goes over and takes oh, the I masks get it. off them. Just walks into the room? Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up a rock. Is there a rock somewhere? Yep. And he goes, this is how it's done, boys. And he throws it into the room. Yep, okay. Um, you see for a second the eyes split towards the rock. Mm-hmm. And then they go back to sweeping the room. Mm. Lasers. Well, he has kind of committed to this. <laughs> yeah, I think Grimsby what's, what's, like, he's what's proud enough that he would just okay, do it. Okay, is there a... From the doorway... Yes. Where's the closest corpse with a mask? Uh, very close. You, where you've come up. Like, could he just reach his hand in and grab it? It's just ten feet away from you. So yeah. It's so he does that. So you're gonna just make it okay. Quickly Quick, make. Quickly go like, and then yeah. Make for me a speed check, dexterity. Mm-hmm. Supposed. That is a sixteen. Sixteen. All right. He races in and he grabs the mask, mm-hmm. and nothing's happened just yet. Yep. And he rushes back out. All right. Now he's holding the mask. Yep. And it's he's accidentally twisted. Almost the head of that corpse off. Oh, it's got the head on it too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If the he's got the head. Throw the head back in to see if the to see if the eyes recognise the head. Right. He does. He, yeah. He he doesn't have the head. It's oh, fine. Okay. So he uh he goes uh I think uh this will come in handy, and uh, he says who want a mask. I am going to try and lasso one of those corpses over here. Well, if, one, if, if, if the mask stops you from being seen, presumably one person go in and get a bunch of masks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Bobby will do that. Thanks, Bobby. All right. So, you're yeah. so I'll put on you the, put mask. the mask. Don't okay. you look darling. Look as at him. <laughs> as soon All as right. you put the mask on, it kind of obscures your vision. You've, and your vision sort of goes down to black and white, but you can still see the room. Oh. oh so I'm going to tie the rope then to Bobby's waist. So if something happens, we can pull him out. <gasps> you just you just want to take the mask off his corpse if he dies. <laughs> well, there's no point this wasting is, a good mask. This is the control, Bobby. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, so you make your this way. His mask in. doesn't latch to his face and make him really charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> Green does oh, it. Let's find out. Hey, 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 Bobby, can I ask, um, yeah. what do you do with cigarettes? Um, what's do a cigarette? Do you... S- Smoke <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Hey Bobby There's this really Attractive halfling Over here What would your eyes do? 
uh, probably be open to see it as much as possible. Uh, it's not. A, it's not. A, it's he hasn't fine. seen the movie. It's not a fun. It's not a fun mask. All right. Um, great. So, Bobby. Oh, Bobby's thinking of pet detective. <laughs> <laughs> you sneak into the room yep. in your black and white vision, and s- you start collecting masks. Um, t- as you cautiously move around, there is a point as you're collecting your third mask where you feel suddenly um, a sixth sense, and you look and you notice that the, just at that moment the eyes have locked onto you. And then they move away again as if they haven't seen you. Soon you collect the rest of the five masks and you bring them back to everyone. Yep. Okay. Let's so mask it up. Mask it up. We mask, mask up. up. All right. But what are we trying to do? Just going to check out the sarcophagus, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, we'll look at the sarcophagus. Look at the sarcophagus. Look at the sarcophagus. Bust it open. See if there's any amulets or something. All right. Treasure. All right. Um, great. So you get to the sarcophagus and has it's sitting there with a weighted lid on top of this dais. Again, w- adorned with, this, with imagery of bears. Uh, what's the weight on it? Uh, heavy for a heart. A oh, so it's not actually held down by anything. There's not like a paperweight on it. No, it's just big it's stone just marble yeah, slab. Yeah, that'll do it. They just put it on the mm. stone lid and then put a paperweight on. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah, yep, that looks pretty good to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can probably you like it doesn't look impossible, right. guys. Right. Let's work together. <laughs> as a, as just as a quick moment, I'm going to cast Blade Ward on myself. Um, just to just just to. Oh, okay. It's a defensive. Uh, it's a. This is a cantrip, so it doesn't take a spell slot. Yep. But um, I've never done it before. There you go. Give got it a, a bit go. Of protection. Give it a go. What got does it do? Just if I get hit by anything, it just got advantage against it. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so you guys all work together. Who, um, Phil, make with advantage for me. What's the highest? 19. Excellent. All right. The, um, you push the lid of the sarcophagus aside and it breathes. It, so the, d- the dust swirls around what seem to be the bones of a tiny little bear inside. Oh, very, Johnny. very old and brittle. Um, and it it's looks like the bear... is too cold. It <laughs> <The laughs> be- looks like the bear was once wearing a, what seems like a crown. Um, and Does Paddington Bear wear a crown? No, he wears Famously, boots. King Paddington. Uh, <laughs> and sitting um, nestled in what was once his talons is a... He seems to be holding a ring. Um, I reach for the ring. All right. Uh, Bobby, you reach for the ring? Oh, uh, first I do uh, uh, an investigation check. Oops, one. that's a one. So right. lucky Bobby. Uh, that's a Ten. ten. Speak no <laughs> yeah. You are robbing the tomb of a god. Okay. You cannot help but assume that this is powerful, a potent ring. But yeah, uh, I'll well, do I've a, a kind of uh, kind of check on it then on the ring. Um, are you so yeah yeah without oh, wait, touching uh, it? Are oh, you saying? Has Bobby already taken it? I think I've probably already taken it. I guess. Okay, yeah. um, great. So you're going to take it. Um, as soon as you take it, um, the d- uh, the dust in the um, tomb swirls into the shape of a small feral bear-like creature that screeches once and then rushes at your face and vanishes, Bobby. And I want for you <laughs> to make for me quickly a willpower saving throw. Oh God, oh, that's a ten. Um, oh. Add your willpower. Uh, willpower is... Willpower saving throw is... So is chari- sorry, charisma saving throw. Oh, charisma. Plus three. So Plus three. Thirteen. Okay, so you fail. Um, and at that moment, suddenly you feel um, new sensations sort of all through you. Um, and you feel a obsessive compulsion that you haven't had before. And you think just beyond the periphery of your mind, you can hear whisperings as the what is left, the shade of once what was once a powerful god now imprisoned in this tomb merges with your psyche um, and you now are a host for the trickster god Obalaka who is inside you. Would you call Bobby a bear wolf now? Sorry, that's bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so the only thing that you need to know about this is Obalaka is very risk averse, um, very nervous and skittish. Uh, he will sometimes talk to you, but sometimes that sensation in here will be overpowering. But he also promises to help you. Oh, cool. At, mo- at times. So Does he, he tell anybody what happened or is he just like, dusty old face, let's go. So did that happen when he touched the ring or did he put it on? In the moment he touched it. Okay. okay. Um, but well. the ring is now in your hand and also you instantly know that this is Obalaka's ceremonial ring of protection. And does that give me anything else besides his just help? His gives me his help, his wisdom, his voice. And if you wear it, it's a flat um, one point to your armor class. Get it on there. Put it on. Put um, it on. Your precious. Uh, yeah, it's my precious. Guys, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but I have a, a little old bear inside my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, uh, if I seem weird, it's the bear. Uh, but hopefully it'll help us. Do we hear, any, do we hear anything from Obalaka at all? I mean, do, do we? No, like? only Bobby well, here. No, only Bobby can hear. Yeah, so you, you can tell us. What, I don't even hear now. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you'd do like a Ben Wish or Paddington kind oh, of... Oh, uh, okay. Is it like this? 
Portal? Yeah, uh, yeah, do the Queen. Does Paddington Bear talk in the movies? He, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ben he Whishaw is his voice. He doesn't talk in the trailer, so I assumed it's like one of those... Sometimes you know, things uh, happen in movies that they don't show in the trailer. <laughs> 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 uh, and, and vice versa. <laughs> Have you ever seen Kangaroo Jack? Yeah. Yeah, long story. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you found one of the um, nine tricks to gods. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And also a powerful magic item. So congratulations. And you haven't died yet. Um, I'm, you're doing pretty well. Are you just, is that directed just to me? or <laughs> The moment the sarcophagus opened and Obelaka was freed as well, the tension in the room seems to dissipate. And you notice that the eyes uh, close. Every eye on the the disc of eyes oh. closes shut. Should we check out the rest of the room? Sleepy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I'll do a... Um, a pers- I, what, are you, what, are you, what, what check do you do for investigation. looking around? Investigation. Uh, 18 plus. What's investigation? Um, tch, tch, intelligence, so 20 Great, oh, okay So you wait, make your way around the room The niches all contain, as I said, these um, dead bodies That sort of lie there in their slumber Is there any, any weapons or anything on these bodies? Uh, yeah, they're holding um, ceremonial Chilton weapons Mostly swords Ceremonial um, means it cannot be used for fighting Not very useful, not as good right. as your own gear And as you make your way around the last niche uh, facing the stairwell You can find the crystal window, the other side, uh-huh. staring into the corridor And the last niche as you investigate it, you realise that it's on stone rollers and the entire thing can slide to the side. As in the crystal the window fake, can? No, the fake back of one of the niches is a secret door. Oh, <gasps> all right. Um, okay, I get everyone to clear away from in front of the stone roll away. So everyone go to the side or whatever. And then I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to hook the bar into the crevice where the roll away would happen and I'm going to walk to the side as well and then tie a rope to that and then pull it towards me to open the door so nothing's in front of the doorway if that how, makes sense how yeah how are you going to hook that door if you can't r- hook it on both rope it on both sides is it a no, sliding no, no. Oh, door or a sliding door, door? it slides to the side yeah 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 so imagine so imagine this is the door Got yep it. i'm going to put the bar like that right yep in between the door and the wall and then i'm going to tie a rope here and p- like at the middle there, at the tension point, and pull it this way. Mm, I see. Yeah. I'm, I okay. get it. If it's close enough to the tension point. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. So you sort of turned it into a hook that way. Yes. Um, so you hook the door and it slides open, revealing a crawl space only three feet wide that you can sneak through one at a time. Any poison darts flinging out of that one, Dave? Not so far, no. Not so far. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I'll go first. Oh, we shouldn't go first. Uh, yeah, you suddenly feel a compulsion to not go first. <laughs> um. This might be a bad idea. Uh, okay. Well, send somebody else first so they can clear <laughs> it for right, I'm going to take one of the heads from one of the bodies and throw it in there. Just roll it down. Um, okay, so you grab one of the corpses and you rip one its head off? Yep. <laughs> okay. Detach. <laughs> Just, so you, do you foul one of the... One of <laughs> what you is, one hate of the, it when we do that, Dave. Yeah, I but do! It's fine. <laughs> they don't mind. <laughs> to get over like it, so these are your six you know, most favoured retainers. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I'll make no, a note to put it. Obelaka, Obelaka. Oh, right, the bear. That's right. Oh, um, stop them, Bobby. I don't like this at all. Right, guys, don't, don't desecrate the corpses, please. Okay. All uh, right, can we just throw a corpse down the hallway then? No, what are you doing? I hate it. Oh, God. Um, oh. Is there anything that we could do to t- um, trigger the trap? Or Send the big it? one. Grimsby. <laughs> the bigger <laughs> one. Grimsby. Grimsby. Yes? <laughs> um, <laughs> just uh, pop down here The voice in my head Is telling me for you to go yeah, That's a good enough reason As any Bye bye And he ducks down The corridor And he, um, and he can he, he's, not, he's not an idiot I'm starting to realise I was like I want to be fair to you guys And give you some chances Against the treasure So I'll give you some treasure To help you through The dungeon But the big thing That I've given you Is like a crash <laughs> test Yeah <laughs> So he's going to He's, he's going to He's going to Canary in the coma. For as long as he lasts <laughs> He's going to check Wait, we tie a rope around his middle. <laughs> yeah, okay, so yeah. he got a two. Okay, but the rope around his middle is still there. Okay, dubs. rope around his middle is still there, and he just crawls with gusto because he's got a two and he thinks everything's fine. Right, so he crawls forward. Which and it might be. <laughs> and he gets to the edge of the um, of the crawl space. And so Grimsby, what you see as you peek out mm-hmm. is a um, g- giant sort of um, 15 feet by about 30 feet um, wide room that you're coming through on one of the wide edges of. Mm-hmm. And you can see on the... Um, Western side of it, a rusting statue of a knight standing, um, dominating that, that side of the hall, gripping a large iron shield. He's completely rusted. The shield isn't. Um, shards and flakes of rusted metal um, are cover the dais that he's on all over the floor mm-hmm. at the statue's feet. 
So he's standing in a pile of rust. Mm-hmm. Rusted flakes. Uh-huh. There's a uh, rusty man in here. <laughs> other than that, uh, facing you is another crawlway, and there's a corridor leading off um, facing the rusty man. All right, Grimsby, do what you want. We've tied a rope around your middle so we can retrieve you if you get knocked out. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> so hang on, like on my crawly, I can look through here and be like, oh, there's a there's a night rusty yeah. room, and then through there, there's more crawling. And there's yep, and there's a corridor that way. Uh, what do you think the architect put this crawl space in for? Fire codes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, Just crawling. I'm gonna go into that room very carefully. All right. Who's what holding are you the rope for this? Uh, I I'll guess. I'll hold it. I'm gonna do an investigation yeah. check on the room. Like yep. That's a four. <laughs> okay, great. How does it feel to be playing Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> so, Grims- yeah. so Grimsby walks into the room, um, and the moment you sent you walk into the room proper, you suddenly feel a jolt, and you feel yourself being tugged with a huge, right. powerful force towards the warrior. Make for me a strength check. That's a twenty, boy. Oh, you hold that judo. You at hold school. your ground, um, but you can feel that if you stay in this room for very long, you will be thrown, smashed against the pull western the wall. Pull the rope! Pull the rope! Pull the rope! All right. All right. I pull the rope. I pull the rope. Right. Yeah, you bring him back in. Oh. All right. Don't go in that room. <laughs> uh, on, on, and he goes down the corridor. So maybe we all need to go in and fight this knight. Then. Yeah. Uh, nah, oh. it's just a booby trap. It's just like we might get a shield at the end of it, but at what cost? <laughs> You're working at dungeons. You don't need to do everything. Uh, mm-hmm. You guys can sort of choose what you think you want to uh, deal yeah, with. I think I think the shield will be helpful though. Yeah, but All if right. we die getting it, then you won't be like as a toboggan. If we you also can't go down the corridor that he describes because to access any of those corridors leading off this room, you have to walk past the statue. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess we have to deal with it. All right. right. So we pull. Grimsby all the way back in. So Grimsby, yep. just so you know, you only you got the sense of being pulled. Yeah. But it was only around your midsection. You felt like something had grabbed you around like the ribs rub? and pulled you. <laughs> Am I wearing anything? Yeah. What's um, on? You're wearing your uh, ir- ir- completely <laughs> impractical nude. long um, <laughs> yeah. underwear. Your kind of water Davian outfit that you've got. Do I have anything that. around my neck? Um, you're wearing a, your breastplate. Uh-huh. A gilded breastplate. Ah. It magnets, baby. All it right. Magnets. Hey guys, um, come come through. But leave all your metal behind. You mean absolutely all of not. our stuff? Well, like all of our swords, weapons. Do you have any wooden weapons? No. No. We've got a short bow. Yeah, that's got. That counts. It's got wood. stone heads or metal heads. <laughs> metal head. Well, unless we just like chuck our weapons at the shield, which is the magnet thing. Isn't that just giving them more weapons then? <laughs> yeah, but who's them? The rusted. Knight. Could be someone nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, really but then, needs we can, weapons. then we can fight him. Like once he has all our metal stuff, then we can go and bonk him on the head. Also, don't With forget, what? don't forget that Sir Grimsby was able to fight it for a short amount of time. Mm. All right. Mm. Well, I think that we'd have a good chance if all of us were here. So come on, no. all for one and one right. for all. Well, Huzzah! Quick question. Are you being drawn towards the back of the knight, or is the f- is the knight facing forward? I didn't have time to take notes. Being drawn towards sort of the shield, pulled towards his front, which is being held guarded by the shield. So, so the shield's probably magnetic. That's what the we're doing. The shield is here. a giant. Right, let's strip Grimsby of his breastplate and see what happens. If he goes in again, great idea. Yeah. Off you great. go, Grimsby. Take oh. your armor off and go in again. Yeah. Can I have the rope again? Yes, yes. you can have the rope again. All right. We got your buddy. So he t- um, taking off your breastplate. You make your way into the room, Sir Grimsby, and you stand there for a while, for a moment. And it seems like the pulling isn't there. Mm-hmm. I can take the shield. And you seem to be okay in the room. Take oh. the shield and we'll pull you out as quickly as we can. Okay. Okay, so you walk towards the shield and the moment that you do pop, 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 pop as you get within 10 feet of it, all of the, What's metal, pop? All of the metal fastenings on your clothes rip off and fling themselves Sexy. at the shield. Am I nude? Uh, yeah, you're, 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 I, suppose, you're, I suppose most of your outfit falls off. That's okay. Can I, do I still have the rope? Wearing? But... The but the um the other thing is the moment those um, points touch the shield they um collapse into rust flakes and settle down at the feet oh. of. Am I wearing any rings? Any um no you actually no, Sir Grimsby, Gr- Grimsby said he was going to take off all his metal as we went in. Yeah, yeah but okay. That. So I get totally nude. Yep. <laughs> Okay, and I keep the rope around me. Yep. One piercing I forgot about. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. it's like going into an MRI machine. Yeah. Do I have fillings? He hasn't had his knee done or anything, <laughs> yeah. has he? He's got one no, single Grimsby's bolt in his The only thing finger. you forgot about was the fastenings on your clothes. Okay, then I take the shield. All right, you're actually able to lift the shield off the statue. It's huge and big and heavy, but you can, because this is a giant sort of man, but you can 
Does it fit through the crawl space? You can, you yeah, can does, carry it. Does it fit through the crawl space? Oh, definitely not. Hmm. Oh. So we've got to keep going. But the, the, the knight doesn't, the rusted knight doesn't come alive. No, no, the rusted knight's just standing there. Okay, so once we have the shield, is that... Have we dis- dismantled the magnetism of the shield? Yeah, does the shield have a switch on it? Um, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, can can someone just... Chuck a button ca- on it. No, because the buttons are all turned to rust. All right, I'll give can you a pot. Can someone fling me a thing I'll down I'll fling you a pot. A pot's metal? No, I'll, give, I'll, I'll throw you a pot. Pot's a pot. metal? I'll, I'll throw you a throw us a coin a or something. Coin, yeah. Okay, so you throw a copper coin. Um, as the, ro- the copper coin comes into the room, it does a quick right turn and smashes itself against the shield that you're holding facing the copper coin. Shield the still face. works! <laughs> and, then, and then rusts. Mm. Uh, let's, get, let's, 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 let's get Greensby to do an investigation it? check to see if there's anything. Yeah, is there anything else in the room? Like, is there another opening or is it just a. Yes, there's an opening facing the one you came in, and then there is another one to the east, a corridor leading out. Oh, like they're like adult size? Yeah, so the crawl space to the north. Sorry, to the yeah, to the north is the same as yours, one single file, and then a proper corridor leading the other way. If you face the shield in uh, the opposite direction, does it still? Ha- is it is it directional? So you're facing it against the wall. Yeah, mm. and then throwing a coin. What? Well, uh, yeah, he's Grimsy. Yeah. yeah, face it, face the holy bit against the wall. Yep. So the metal is facing me. The 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 the, the convex side is facing me, and throw a copper. So you're facing yeah. the so, 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 so the, co- the concave side is, is facing the crawl space entrance. Yep. And I'm going to get them to fling a copper. He's down using there. it the yeah. wrong way around. Yeah, yeah. 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 not wrong way around. Um, the coin skitters to the ground, so it's oh. very directional. Okay. Right. All right. I think you've just got a cool shield now, Grimsby. Thanks, guys. No, but it's going to be really annoying because it, it, it's going to zap all our Yeah, I don't weapons. think we can take the shield with Let's us. Let's just put the shield on the fucking ground. Just leave it in the corner. Just yeah, I'm going to put it in the face corner. Down. Yep. Yep. Face, yeah, exactly. The, um, the, co- yeah. Why can't he just keep it face down and drag it along the ground so it's only ever facing down? What good will this do us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because then if I, then if I ever have to use it... The way I it see it, Fraser, no one else wants it. So if you want it, it's if yours. If you want to do it, you can drag it All behind right, yeah, you. I like tie a rope to it and I'm going to drag it behind us. Okay, great. And so making your way further into the Tomb of Annihilation, the Dragon Friends have bested three rooms and made a treaty of sorts with Obalaka, one of the nine trickster gods, but four more levels descend below them in a meat grinder of sorts, a dungeon that has claimed many lives before them and shall claim many lives still for a Sererak, Planeswalker, and Arch Lich, whose power is without and waits in a sort of time and space where I guess a weird American accent makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, And who knows what mysteries and fell magics he plans for this land. Who knows what purpose he has for this dungeon to find out the answers to questions such as these. Tune in to the next adventure of Dragon Friends. Thank you. (laughs) Oh, no, wait, it's not a break. Sorry. Bye, everyone. (laughs) Um, See you next week.